pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, nigga, new best shoe pod, the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, it's the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, it's the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod. No bash your pot, no bash your pot, no bash your pot. And sometimes I talk about clothes, it's the new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot. Clearly. New best shoe pod. How are you doing, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing good. What's up? Welcome to the new best shoe podcast. I'm so glad to be here with you today, man. Cannot wait. I'm really excited. I'm like excited, honestly. <laughs> What do you want to start oh, with? Yeah. Um, well, first, did you did you do any did you get any cops? Did you do anything? And hell no, nah, nigga. I had to pay my rent this week. <laughs> Believe that. Absolutely. Believe that. Absolutely. This is rent week, baby. You had to hit some game. It ain't no game out here. <laughs> no, I definitely feel that, man. Yeah, it's it's dry over here too. I'm a chill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also, also, I met like I met like the hottest young lady, like a real cute looking gal. And and I was drunk, and I had like a long conversation with her about post sneakerdom. <laughs> and uh, she's a sneakerhead. Yeah, yeah, she was like a sneak. She was wearing like some Jordans or something. And then mm-hmm. I had like a long conversation. She was wearing some sixes. I want to say, yeah, sixes. You know the the Bourjois, I think. But uh, she was. Okay. So I was like, I had a long conversation conversation with her about how stupid sneakers are. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And it kind of went, and it kind of, and basically, you know, it went well. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> you know, like, basically, it ended well. So I might I might stay on post sneakerdom for a while while you bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to dig in my closet. I got a couple pairs of boots and shit. I'm like, let's go. Let's go. All right. That's what's up, man. Don't get oh, me wait, wrong. You're still, you're I, really, you're really still on that. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I love, I love sneakers as art. I just don't. I just don't understand. I don't see the point in chasing them. You know, I'm not going to chase sneakers. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, don't, I don't chase pussy. I'm not chasing sneakers. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I respect that. I respect that. I mean, that. you know, that's real. That's all I can Like, that's the facts of it. So, um. Oh, yeah, man. What is some shit? What has just been on your heart? Before we even get into the list, what is something that's been on your heart, would you say? Um, oh no, man! Is that a trick question? Put me on the spot. No, I just mean I mean like as far as sneakers, like um, like uh oh, do you know? Remember the fucking the fucking ALDs dropped in fucking round two. Five fifties just came out of nowhere. Now oh, they're in round dude. two. The week I have to pay my rent for like what one sixty? I think they were like one sixty. Yeah, they were for the low. I was like, yeah. damn. I was like, what the fuck? I am so, like, that's why I'm pissed at sneakers. Like, I'm like, fuck sneakers. You guys are stupid because, like, y'all don't even know. 
but that's the that that's what I like about it. like the thing that you get irritated about is like the hunt is what I like. I like to I'm not chasing them, but like when they when I come across it for that good price, dude, that's like perfect. Yeah. Like imagine you would have went down. Like, I mean, you know, you would. I feel the Melrose same way about pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I get you. I'm not I'm not chasing it either. I'm just like if I get it at a good time, it's like hey, this works. This is a great idea. You know, but at the same time, I'm not gonna go crazy. You know. So I, I guess I guess yeah, I'm definitely not fighting. I guess we feel the same way about that. So, what you got first? What is Jordan one knockout? What does that mean? Uh, is that people I think fighting it's... over sneakers. No. Um, hold on, let me pull yeah. this up. Oh shit! Hold on. Can, I just you, googled it. Put... Let me oh, let, right. let me share. All right. I just googled it. Is this what you mean? That is what I mean. Didn't you say you like these? What the fuck is this? Like, why is oh, it? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't put the AJ KO or whatever. Yeah, what is this? It's a, it, I guess it's a Jordan. I thought you said you like these, the the canvas uh, Jordan ones. I don't. I don't get it. What's the? I don't get it. It's just not leather. It's not leather. Mm -mm, it's canvas. Oh, I'm into that. That sounds nice. Let me get it. Let me get a nice zoom in shot. Yeah, I like these, man. They give you like a Vandell, uh, like feel, kind of. Um, I'm not mad at it. I don't. I would never. I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at this shoe at all, at all. I just don't understand why it's necessary. I mean, when you what does AJKO mean? Well, I know Air Jordan. The KO, I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe Michael Jordan got in a fight back in the day. You know, <laughs> <laughs> because you know, if a, have you ever worn canvas shoes and gotten like a piece of blood on them? It's never coming out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know this is this mean. never coming out of these shoes. <laughs> so if you yeah. fight in these shoes, how much do they go for? <clears throat> Pretty good. Okay. I uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like. It's just so many shoes are a waste of time. Like, so many sneakers nowadays like this are just, like, y'all just trying too much shit. Just, I mean, not even, you know, just just relax. Like, we would, I would like Jordan 1s better if they didn't release things like this. Like, if I would really be like, yo, I need to get some Jordan 1s if there was, like, three colors, you know? If there was, like, three to five colors, I'd be like, yeah, let me get a pair of those. But the fact that there's so many colors, like, literally every day I see a pair of Jordan 1s with, like, lime green and pink and turquoise and shit and you're like this isn't a good idea like why do we keep you get what i'm saying yeah man uh, i don't know nike and jordan brand man they just they see that people like something they're like we gotta fucking make this in hey, a gazillion and, and why you're bullshitting i'm not giving nobody no cape it's it's adidas too adidas does the same thing you know uh reebok even does the same thing with their insta pumps and their fucking and their um insta Iverson's. pumps and their um Reebok is killing the Insta Pump and the Iverson. Yeah, the Iverson, how many BBC Iversons they made? You know, it's like, lot. stop making all these fucking weird colors. Iverson don't want this. He didn't ask for pink and purple and lime green and, and turquoise and orange and mango and all that shit on this goddamn color <laughs> on the shoe. Like, <laughs> he didn't ask for that. I know for a fact Iverson did not ask for that, so... You know, it, I mean, so I'm not saying it's just Nike brand or any one brand. It's a D, like I said, Adidas. If you'd stop fucking making all these weird ass fake Ultra Boosts, then maybe people would want a real Ultra Boost. You know what I'm saying? But they just want to say, hey, give this guy a, let's make an orange one. Let's make a, a one, a red one with a red stripe here. Actually, let's make another red one with the red there instead. Right, red. It's like, that's the thing. It's like, there shouldn't be more than three colorways that are the same. You get what I'm saying? Like, look at, if you notice that fucking black, red Jordan, how many black and red Jordans are there? I can't, I'm 20, what was it, 35? <laughs> 35? At least, <laughs> at least. Like, no, and that's the thing. There's there's at least four colorways of black and red Jordans for oh, yeah, every yeah, Jordan. Yeah. For yeah, every yeah. Jordan. Isn't, so away, there's a, isn't a way colorway, a home colorway, fucking alternate, yeah. yeah. For every fucking pair of Jordan, there's fucking... And I'm like, come on, guys. Come on, Clevis. 
Yeah, man. Just but come yo, on. like, so how are we? That's what I mean. Like, how am I supposed to be excited? I mean, and that's what I want to make sure that we're always doing, Brian. I want to make sure we are always just chatting. You know, we are always just literally talking sneakers. I don't want to ever be, hey, this is the this is the next topic on the discussion. It's like, no. What do you really feel about this shit? And I'm just keep saying that it don't make no. I, how can I be excited about sneakers when literally I'm sure that I like if I go get some trophy rooms right now, for what? How much are trophy rooms going for? Like three grand? Three G's. Five grand? Yeah. Uh, I guarantee I will see somebody wearing them. Like I guarantee I can put on trophy rooms today. Walk all the way around LA, like I can go to Melrose, walk up and down three times, <laughs> and I guarantee I will find somebody wearing them. So what is so special yeah. about, even if it's $3,000, what's so cool if every single person is going to be having the same shoe on? All right, so then you could use that then. Someone may not want the leather ones because everyone got the leather ones. Maybe they want the canvas ones so they could be different. You know yeah, but I mean? I'm so. a keep, but guess what? If a canvas guy is walking next to a leather guy and I drive by them in the, on the street, I'm not going to know the difference. You know what I'm saying? If I drive by really fast, right, and the canvas, canvas guy, I see both of them wearing shoes, I'm just going to say they're wearing the same shoes, right? <laughs> so I'm just – that's what I'm saying is, like, I get it, like, that there are differences and shit. This reminds me of – I think it was a J. Cole interview that really pissed me off. I forgot what Jordans he was saying he wore. But I remember he was like, I don't wear Jordans. I just wear these Jordans. And then I said, I said to myself, I said, every fucking person who wears Jordan said that. So stop acting like you're the most unique guy. Everybody who wears Jordan does not wear two pairs of Jordan. Like everybody who wears, you know, 11s doesn't necessarily wear sixes. You get what I'm saying? They're like, oh, I wear 11s. I'm, I don't wear sixes. You get what I'm saying? Like there's so many people out here who just wear certain pairs of Jordans. It's not, it's not, you're not special. You know what I'm saying? And there's, and that's the same thing for these people. They're like, oh, well, like you said, I got the canvas ones. So what? So the fuck what? <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Uh, all right. Word. Um, I mean, I don't know, but, but like, you can. All right. I look. I look at it as like as like a business thing, and it's like okay, like I get it. You know, people like this 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 silhouette. Let's make it in all different sh shapes, sizes, colors. I'm making it from baby to fuck, infant to fucking, you know, whatever, 15, 18, size 18. I don't care. So, like, if people like it, I'm going to make it. I get that business thing. But it's like, I do also feel you how it's like, all right, who cares? Like, let's just do three colorways. But you got to make bread. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the yeah, pandemic. But a you know for a fact, bro, this is the thing. This is the thing. You're lo They're actually losing money. Because literally, okay, literally. You think, you think those are sitting Yes. The hype of ones are you right kidding? Now. Yes. Uh, I think I think that there are no no okay, okay, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I misspoke. I don't think they're sitting. I just think that there there's a lot of shoes that people own and are never gonna wear. You get what I'm saying? There's okay. a lot of shoes where people are like, yo, I'm gonna buy this shoe sitting on my shelf. <laughs> I'm going back to you, buddy. Never wearing that shoe. You know what I'm saying? There's so <laughs> many of these shoes. What are those Jordans that only only moms i've only seen moms wearing them the ones with the pink on the top the lime green and they're like all dark brown you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about they have like pink on like the check they have like a little pink accent they have the lime green at the top you gotta pull you gotta pull that one up bro let me let me see if i can figure if i can find out what i'm talking about i feel like our viewers know what i'm talking about pink at the top on a check and it's the jordan it has to be a one yeah, it is a Jordan 1. Oh, okay. What is oh, that called? Um, oh, here it goes. No. Here it goes. You only see... Look, I just wrote it, and it just came up Im immediately. You only see moms wearing these. Oh, okay. Biojax. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are trash. These are garbage. I said Biojax or Biohack. My bad. Biohacks. Hey, um, I don't even care. This shit's bullshit. This shit is garbage. Like, I've seen yeah, mad moms wearing these. And like people that my first Jordan type people. Well, were these. What well, I'm saying it came is that out, it came they had out in to go to a, sizes, look, look, hold on, hold on. They had to go to a fucking, they had to dye this fucking soul green. They had to do all this dumb shit when literally people would have just bought, bought, if they'd have just said, okay, instead of dropping this shoe right now, we're just going to drop more black reds. People would have just, they would have just sold out as well. 
Am I wrong? Like, no matter how many black reds they drop, they're going to sell out. So I don't understand yeah, why yeah. they're making these. Like, I don't understand why they're going, hey, we need a silver swoosh and some fucking lime green bullshit. Well, the, inspiration, the inspiration for the shoe was the, uh, was, was the undefeated dunks. So that's why they did that. What are undefeated dunks? Let me, let's look at this. Let's look. I mean, they don't look exactly like. I'm sorry. I'm I'm very interested in seeing this. I think they're called undefeated dunks. They're like mismatch all over. Yeah. No, oh, these are garbage. Oh my god! Mm. This is the ugliest shoe I've ever seen in my life. That's the point, bro. Come on. You know, but come on, man. I get it if I okay, I get it if it's an ugly shoe, but I don't get it if if uh if people wouldn't wear it. it. Well, let me explain what I'm trying to say. I don't get it if people wouldn't wear it if it didn't have a Nike swoosh on it. You get what I'm saying? So I understand ugly stuff. I'm yeah. down for that. But people wouldn't wear this if it didn't have a Nike swoosh on it. And that is offensive. You get what I'm saying? So you so you're saying if that was like a Puma, it wouldn't have did as well? There is Pumas co- in that colorway. They don't. Nobody buys them. You've never seen people wearing them. There are definitely Pumas in that colorway. I Am I crazy? Like you telling me there's no Pumas in that colorway? No, no, for sure, for sure. But like, you gotta understand is for that shoe in specific, like specifically, like, uh, like it's it's undefeated, which has its own hype bringing to it to a fucking Nike, you know, sneaker. So I mean. That right there, that's powerful. You know what I mean? So you can't. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's what I'm trying to say is that you, I, if somebody goes, hey, Kanye made a shirt. There's two different types of people in the world. There's one person who goes, I want that shirt. And then the next person goes, let me see the shirt. I mean, you're not crazy if you say, let me see the shirt. That's all I'm saying is like, I'm not going to buy. I'm not just going to say, oh, undefeated. Where's your dick at? I got to suck that dick. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say, <laughs> fucking, let me see what you've got. Is it a, is it a attractive dick? <laughs> Maybe I'll, you know, I'm kidding. But you get what I'm saying? I'm like, is it something <laughs> worth fucking with or not? Like, you get what I'm saying? And there's so many people that are just like, ah, I mean, Kanye, he made it. So it's great. You're like, no, that, that's not I it. Mean, like, you, anytime you justify something, something with the, with the brand name, I'm not going to feel it. You know, anytime you're like, anytime I'm like, you're like, oh, well, dude, it's Polo. Okay. This, is, this is the Polo thing. Okay, I'm like, well, okay, that what doesn't about Marvel? Matter. What huh? about Marvel? What about doesn't Marvel? Matter. You trust, you you trust Marvel? No, no, no. I no. trust them. If, no, if, I trust them. I trust them, but I'm not going to, I still, like, there's still Marvel. I haven't seen Captain Marvel. I don't plan on watching Captain Marvel, even though I hear it's a pretty good movie. I might watch it eventually, but the solid. point is I'm not jumping yeah. up to watch it because because I just you have to I have to like I have to want to watch it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be like oh. you may all right. You know what? You may not just like you just might not like her. So that's why you know what I mean. So you just <laughs> might not like these sneakers. You feel me? Like you might not like these silhouettes. So you're like, eh, I don't care about that collab. Like you know, but I don't know, man. I just I definitely get so if I see shit like oh it's undefeated, I might look into it. Like I'll just see a headline. Yeah, don't get me like, wrong. Right, I'll let me look into it too. I look in yeah. just like I did right there when you were like oh undefeated dunks or inspiration. I was like let me see. You know I didn't say I didn't say this is whack before I knew it. Did I? I didn't go oh well I bet you it's whack. Let me I bet you know I was like let me click that. Let me actually type that in and then make yeah. an actual judgment because that's yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to say. I'm gonna always try to do that. I'm never gonna be like oh well I know. I know stuff. I know Kanye can't do wrong. Oh, he's done wrong before. You know, like I can name maybe. In fact, let's get into, let's segue into that subject. Let's segue into that subject. The whole, the whole viral meme about, about how the, the Nike Yeezys aged better than the Adidas Yeezys. Really? (laughs) Really? (laughs) Love the internet. Like, I love the internet. Like, Oh my God. Like this is the same thing as every time people want to hate on Kanye or every time people jump off the Kanye wagon, I can just look at the internet and be and they were like, Oh, I hate that guy. Fucking he's an idiot. Why would he do what a jerk? You know, and it's like y'all don't remember y'all wasn't there for uh I've been working the slave ship. I met you know, you weren't there for that? Are y'all just <laughs> fake as hell? <laughs> because you sound fake as fuck. Because in actuality, uh the Adidas Yeezys inspired millions of shoes in the world like 
the way sneakers are made now are because of Yeezys. So yeah. mm, let's talk about aging better, you fucks. Look at all the shoes you love, people. Yeah, all the yeah, shoes yeah. you love besides fucking dunks and ones are inspired by Yeezys, bucko. I hate to say it, but they're all, they're all, even, you know, they're all pop. I'm talking Insta pumps were made before Yeezys, but they got popular again because of Yeezys. Do you get what I'm saying? I swear to God they did. Like any type of like sock shoe, you know what I'm saying? Any type of, not sock shoe, but you know, put it on slipper type, you know, shoe without laces and shit with, with technology became more popular once my boy came back out. So yeah, of course the Nike shoe aged, but I mean, it went higher in value because there ain't no more. And they didn't release yeah. them. You fucks. Duh. Yeah. So, duh. Yeah. The, of course, it's going to be <laughs> worth more money. But, uh, uh, Kanye invented everything, you fucking idiots. Like, get out of here. Everybody, get the fuck out of here. You think Jerry Lorenzo would have a career without Kanye? You think Virgil would have a career without Kanye? You think, and this is from a, you fucks. This is from fucking, this is because of his Adidas shoes. Virgil, I mean, John, Lorenzo got a deal at Nike. Because they lost Yeezy, just so you know, everybody. They said, hey, man, you can make whatever shoe you want because we lost Yeezy. You know, that's why he was able to make his own silhouette and do things, and they gave him any amount of freedom because they weren't giving yeah. anybody freedom. You know what I'm saying? They were just saying, you can do a colorway. We're not even changing Thank the materials. You. We wouldn't even change the materials. You know what I'm saying? And now they're like, oh, well, we, anybody who wants, we're making a full model. That's, the, that's, the fucking, that's not because of his Nike shoe. That's because of yeah. his Adidas shoe, just so you guys know. No, I get it. Fact. He had a Nike shoe first, but he had an Adidas shoe before that, just so everybody knows. His first shoes were Stan Smith's. Do you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah. He did do – wait, didn't he do a, a Reebok too or no? no I, don't, I don't remember seeing the Reebok, but I remember seeing the, the, the Stan Smith and the Louis Vuitton. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. like you guys are – everybody – that's what I'm saying. Like Kanye is such a punching bag for fucking everybody. Everybody just is like, well, let's not like him this week. Do you want to like? I don't want to like him. I don't want. He's correct. He did a thing. And shut the. Shut the fucking yeah, but you gotta understand though. It, it's a. It's also as, as it is negative. It is positive because it's like any. What do they say? Any any promotion yeah, is good promotion. Is good or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so it's like the fact that they're even talking about it is like a conversation. We're having a conversation right now about something he did how many years ago. <laughs> You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that in itself is like, you know, he's, he's just great. He's a great creative, man. People need to relax. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You keep every, like, it's like people, like, it's like every week there's a topic to hate on Kanye. And, and then there's people like me who I like, I feel like I'm Candace Owens every time I, de I defend Kanye. You know, I feel like I'm like, Who's that again? I'm sorry. The guys. black Republican lady. She's just like uh -oh. a, you know, a pundit that said that talks shit about black people all day. But that's oh, what I'm right. saying is like, I feel like I'm like, you know, against everybody. Every time I say something, everybody's like, oh, why would he like Kanye? It's like, you like Kanye. You like him too. Like, dude, quit playing. <laughs> like, everybody just want, It's. I get that it's not cool to like him this week, but you guys like him too. I don't understand the whole. You know, I don't understand, like, what weeks we're allowed to like Kanye and what weeks we're not allowed to. I don't – fuck everybody. I don't give a fuck. You guys are – fuck everybody. Like, period. Not you, Brian, obviously. <laughs> saying this so you clip it and let the world know. Fuck them. Not you, buddy. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. We got a lot of love for you, man. I appreciate us always having these combos. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, all right, man. Um, on some uh, lighter news – um, <laughs> is there is there ever light news in sneakers i'm telling you like i feel like sneakers is just a fucking heated topic of discussion right now in the world that's why i can't wait to do this every fucking friday i'm like fucking sneakers let's talk about it let's talk about what these niggas out here got on i can't wait to show my kicks in the street every week i can't wait to fucking show how many people i've been running up on why you got them dunks all tight on your feet all tight up why you lace them shits off like football <laughs> strings <laughs> what the hell these little girls like because i heard dunks were cool Dunks are cool, right? You, 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 ain't, yo, you don't skate or dunk. <laughs> you don't <laughs> fucking lose. These niggas don't skate or dunk. But I fucking got 20. All right. Like you said, light notes. Let's find, let's find light notes. That was hilarious. <laughs> yo, let me, let me share up really quick. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get in there, playboy.
I swear I'm gonna get it one day. Let's move. All right. Be back. Okay. So speaking of Kanye, so not lighter news, but lighter news. Um damn, you I'm had to kill really me dig in this. You had to kill me with these. <laughs> you fuck with these? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about these ones. Yeah, those are garbage. You know what? I want to I want to like them, but I I I want to like them, but like I I don't know like the colors are like bothering me. Like I don't know. It's like the orange on the bottom with the I don't know. I just feel like it it, it isn't smooth. Um, those are garbage. I'm not going to lie. Those are garbage. But, but I see what he's trying red, to do. The red laces are fire though. The high tops with the red laces there, those are good. I fuck with those, yeah. but the the that like that like penis color right there that like that's like a that's like a fucking penis color right there on the bottom. You see what I'm saying? I don't appreciate that. That's like the inside of my hand color. I'm I'm good on that. I don't I don't I don't want to I don't wanna, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's about. white. Oh. That's the color of a white man's penis. <laughs> like I'm good on that. <laughs> I'm good, bro. And these are like the color of fake Versace. <laughs> Not real Versace, but just like the whenever you buy fake Versace, it's this is exactly this pattern. I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually like these. Yeah, I feel okay. I'm digging these. I'm digging these. Um, I'm not mad at them. I can sw- I can make them look cool, <laughs> but that is the colorway of fake Versace. You know, I'm not mad at them though. Yeah, hell yeah, I like. I these. like. I love those shoes because they look like they're so comfortable. And I hate. I know that sounds like a stupid thing to say, but I just love when I see a lot of boost at the bottom. It makes my feet excited. Like you know, whenever I see a bunch of boost at the bottom of a shoe, I'm like, oh yeah. I bet you that. Oh yeah, I can't wait to juice that, juice that boost. I don't know. It feels like a booty. You want to bounce on it? You know? I'm like, let's go, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's mad funny. Let's go, old juicy, old juicy boost. Are they are they going up in price or what? Or have they always been two fifty? No, they've been two fifty. I think for the for those, yeah. All right, maybe they were two twenty. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, you're right. That's a good colorway. I fuck with those. Yeah. Oh, so you do like these? Yeah, yeah, I like foam runners. Um, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't actually, how do I put this? I don't prefer them to Crocs. You know, like I think Crocs are the OG. Like I don't think that you, sh- that you're better if you have these. I think you're just different and it's okay. But like I said, Crocs is the OG. I still respect, I respect Crocs because I respect anything that costs $50 and everybody buys it. You know, like I respect anything that like, you know, that's why I respect Adidas so much because shell toes are the shit. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause like there's certain shoes that are just, super you know i saw a nigga wearing some gazelles yesterday and i was just like you are clean as fuck in those gazelles he was he was actually standing next to a dude i'm gonna show it in the kicks in the street so i hate to get there i'll get there in the later but y- you'll okay. see what i'm talking about so that's good that's yeah, a blue I, color i like and i like yeah i think it's is it blue yeah it's just mineral blue mineral and it's blue. only 80 dollars. that's tight that's tight and i like how he's making kid sizes man let the, let the kids get fly too man. man hell yeah i want my kids to have that and look at that. You see that? That boost don't make, that just make me so horny to see that. <laughs> like when have I see you put that, your foot in one of these yet? Mm-mm, I have not. I should, huh? Oh, I might, I would buy this colorway actually. Maybe I'll, nah, ah, ah, I feel, I feel like YNJ. I'm always like, every time I go into the store, I'm like, I need to not buy this. <laughs> you know, Wait, like, why, why, YNJ? Who's that? You don't know why, YNJ is uh, the coochie man. This is my coochie dance. You never heard of that? Uh, oh no! Nah. That sounds that sounds like that sounds that sounds like uh uh Rio Rio the yeah fucking... yeah he's friends with Rio that's Rio's oh. buddy yeah oh, yeah okay, but he's the right, coochie right. that's that's uh, Y and J's voice Rio's be like I'm gonna tell him where it's gonna come on man me I'm gonna do the thing that you know you're like he just says bad things he's like he's like <laughs> he's like <laughs> he's yeah. like bitch try to have my baby I'll kick her so right? you're like what the fuck I love Rio though oh so, yeah, yeah he be saying some wild shit yeah Hell he yeah. says crazy shit I'm like that's what's up and then and then oh, yeah. Y and J just Y and J just raps half a bar and then he goes nah, nah. <laughs> like halfway through he's always like what why are you gonna why are you gonna nah. <laughs> no so that's what, and he, and he does it on purpose huh yeah uh, well. It probably wasn't originally on purpose, but you know he's played into it. It's his thing now. So, all right. Oh, uh, those are trash. Yeah, these are garbage. Garbage. Yeah, those are hot garbage. That's all I can say about those. Mm-hmm. Those are fi- those know. are fire. Nike, What's up with the orange sole? But let, but let mean, me explain. Yeah, let me explain. Let me explain these shoes. I don't think that these shoes deserve hype. 
Do you get what I'm saying? I don't think that these shoes deserve a hype. Like, I don't think you should, people should be dick riding, hyping them up. I think that they are just a fucking solid shoe that is good. You know what I'm saying? I think that this is what, this is what I think Kanye talks about when he's like, everybody should have them. I think he makes a bunch of colorways like this and shit. Not so that they will get hyped up so that we have a, a real selection and we can live in his brand without, you know what I'm saying? Without going to other For brands. Sure. Yeah, this doesn't need a, a, a nickname. Please don't. Wait, wait, what's it called? Wait, wait, go up, go up real quick. <laughs> oh, it has no, has no, uh, wait, wait, go down, go down. In, wait, go down a little bit. I just want to see the description of this one. Oh, yeah, there it goes. The bright orange. <laughs> okay, yeah, they say there's no, uh, no name for them, like you said. Or is the, are they in flame amber? Oh, I think okay. that's what their nickname is. Oh, okay, okay, that's the or, or their color. Way. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'll fuck with that. I mean, oh, like, indeed. a same shit. It's like, that's not a hypable shoe. That's just a shoe that you should just buy if you want to buy it. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I don't... Yeah, it's, it's a safe colorway. It's just yeah, definitely it's, a safe colorway. I'm good. Damn, they're still making these! <laughs> Yo! Let's not talk I about it. Been, let's, <laughs> I thought they been stopped. <laughs> Hey, see, this is this is a hype bullshit. This is what we should be hyping, if you ask me. The future. Yeah, that's a, and that's what I'm saying. Is like, you see what I'm saying? He's gonna make four or five colorways for everybody to get, and then make a couple things that should be hype. I'm into it. I feel like Nike. I feel like Yeezy is literally competing with Nike. Not not Adidas. Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there are people who only buy Yeezys that used to only buy Jordans. I really think that's true. And you know why? Because those people used to only buy Jordans because Jordan was like the most quality shoe and they knew it was going to last and blah, blah, blah. And now they buy Yeezys because Yeezys is the most comfortable shoe and they know it's going to last and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, hold on. We're having an earthquake. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Un unshare. What the fuck? I always forget that we have earthquakes. <laughs> Holy shit. It sounds better than when you um had the mic uh right there. Yeah, my bad y'all. Small technical difficulty. Uh just a little bit of earthquakes in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> we should be safe now. Um so what you got next? Play boy. What we talking about beside after Yeezy? After we talking about Yeezy? Then talking about Yeezy. Okay. Uh, talking about Yeezy. What's up? What you got? <laughs> I don't know why it does this shit to me. All right. Oh, oh, we right, so talking about talking about Addy Dads. So, Even talking about Eddie Dassler. So they're called Adidas DPR a uh, sync pack. So I don't know. What kind of shoe favorite? is that? Like what's the name of that shoe? It's weird. It looks like a lot of shoes that have been dropping from Adidas, like consortium, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it just has like some different Is that the same shoe on both sides? Yeah, it is. Yeah. How do you feel about it? You know what um, I mean? I'm not mad at it. I, li I like every time, like I said, every time Adidas does something, it always looks like it's technically sound. You get what I'm saying? It always mm -hmm. looks like, wow, what they did is technically a good idea. You know, it doesn't necessarily look like I'm trying to rock. Well, actually, it kind of, I really like the lace locks. Yeah. I, I really like the way the laces interlock. You see it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty far. Like, I really like the laces. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. I could tweak it a little bit. Like, give me, I'd, I'd collab with them and make this shoe a little bit cooler. But I can, I can see what they're doing here. I, like I said, it just seems very technically sound. Like, you see, hold on, hold on, hold on, don't move, don't move. You see that, hold on, go back to that one. Yeah, that big one where you see the front. Yeah. You see the lace locks? That's cool. Oh, it's got the three things there. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like, I like this colorway too. It's a cool colorway. It's yeah, I like this one. I don't really like the other one. Yeah, that purple one was weird. That's kind of weird. But, I mean, it's not a bad shoe. I'm not mad at the shoe at all. 
Yo, what's up with that heel? You see this? Yeah, I don't know. That's why I keep. That's why I was asking you. It reminds me of the uh, Adidas has done this a lot throughout the years, though. You know, they always do this, like their spring blades, sling, you know, whatever, all them shoes. Okay. They've done this a few I, times with a lot of different shoes. So I'm not I'm mad at it. Adidas. Imagine they had like a little bit of boost, like right here. Eh, ain't no, ain't no such thing as a little bit of boost. We need a, you know, boost. We need to. I love the and that's true. That's funny you say that because I love the way that they are getting better at doing boost. Like I feel like some shoes they did back in the day, they kind of wasted the boost. You know, they were kind of just like, eh, just put some boost here. And it's like, what are you doing? That's not a good idea. Nowadays, they are. You can tell. Like you see how big them heels are getting and stuff. I'm like, mm-hmm. That's a no, question. That now, do they have like good. people? Like who puts like who tests the uh, uh, the boost? Like who tests the oh, shoe? Uh, oh, only the realest niggas. Okay. That's the answer to your question. Only the real niggas in the hood. <laughs> okay. What about, oh, so, because the reason why I brought that up. And Tom John Sachs, Wexler himself. Oh, I got you, I got you. No, I'm kidding. Um, oh. Literally, you know, this, you know, oh, do you know what a wear tester is? Do you know what a wear tester is? I'm so glad you That's brought that job? up. Yeah, there is a job that you can go sign up for at Nike and Adidas and every company, and they will send you shoes before they come out, let you wear them for a couple months. Do you know that? Wow, I did not know that was a thing. Yeah. I know Tom Sachs did that recently with his little program for the uh, the Mars Yard, but oh. with a 3.0 or whatever. No, yeah, but, um, I, I saw it on TikTok. Like, there was a kid who was just like, yeah, I've been getting shoes on the low for years before they come out <laughs> because I wear test them. And they're like, there's a place you can go wow. sign up for it. Yeah, like, go Google it, everybody. Go figure it out. Go be a wear tester. Wow. Brands will send you shoes for free. I'm not completely sure if you have to send them back or not. Like, I think you don't have to, or you, I don't remember, but I think he just gets shoes for free early. And all he, and he has to, like, write, like, a paragraph about them or some shit. You know, but he gets shoes for free. I'm wow. like, I will write a paragraph. We sit here and talk about shoes all day. <laughs> can I fucking, can yeah. I have them now, please? I will definitely Dude. wear test those fuckers you just So you, you don't get paid. You just get paid in shoes. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I feel like there's different levels to it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's different, okay. different rankings. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure you'd start by volunteering, but then you could get a paid position. Dude, that's like that sounds like the best job ever, man. Hey, man, you probably please, wouldn't get paid much, but please go nice look it up. Check. I mean, it doesn't even matter if we're saving money on shoes, then we're fucking. I'm getting paid thousands of dollars while you bullshitting because, yo, you. Right. It looks like I don't buy <laughs> shoes, but I fucking buy way too many. I buy like so many stupid. I buy like three pairs of Crocs a month. And it's like, why are you buying three pairs of Crocs every month? It's like, I don't know, because they're not that expensive. It's like, yeah, but you're stupid. Like, you're not giving me, I don't even wear them. I don't even wear all the Crocs I have and stuff. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm down. Like, send me Crocs, please. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, what, size are you, what size are you again? Ten and a half, eleven, 11, baby. What's up? Ten and a half hey. old school shoes, 11 on the narrow shoes, you know, like the Nikes and shit. Like some Jordan shoes, I'm more 11s. Um, so wait, you don't feel that that like more expensive, like 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 your retail for your product should be like higher than lower? Cause like that disconnect, like like Croc is killing it. They they only charge what you said fifty. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean for their product. You know what I mean, and they and they're doing great. Wait, you've what, never what bought a pair of Crocs? No, no, no. I have, I have. I got oh. a real tree uh, colorway, but um, yeah. I was, but like, uh, what was I saying? So like, I mean, like, what? Because I'm still trying to figure out what's the, like the disconnect, like with the consumer and being like, you know, charging a lower price and being like accessible over the hype and the, you know, not even hype, but just like a higher price and people catching on in that way too. So like, what what is like the, as a consumer? Like, I don't know. Um, I mean, I know I'm a consumer too, but it's just. How to do you be feel? real. To be real. I don't, I'm going to keep it real with you, dude. There is no reason to charge over $200 or $200 for any shoe that isn't height driven. You know what I'm saying? Like basically if a shoe is made by Kanye, then yeah, charge 250, you know, cause it's a Kanye shoe and it's going to resell for a bajillion dollars anyway. So it's like, you might as well, the company might as well charge 250 and get their money up front. You know what I'm saying? But every other shoe should only cost $100. Like, I hate to say it, but, like, I don't see why. It all, because it's, like, so many shoes I would buy in a second 
but it's just that I don't need a $180 another pair of Ultra Boosts. Like, you know, I don't need another pair of Ultra Boosts, but if Ultra Boosts cost 100 bucks, I'd probably yeah. buy them more than, often than Crocs. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, well, they're more comfortable and, you know, more just as, you know, they're only twice the price as a Crocs. I'd buy the shit out of them. But the fact that they're four times the price of the Croc, you're like, eh, well, I could just go get four pairs of Crocs, you know? So it's like really, it's, it's, uh, it's consumer, consumer psychology that I don't think a lot of people take into consideration is that people only are, they only spend 250 to say they're wearing Jerry Lorenzo's shoe, to say they're wearing Kanye's shoe, to say they're wearing, you know, a shoe of a guy. They're not, nobody, no real people walk into a shoe, into, into a shoe store and go, what are those? And then a guy goes, those are Ken Griffey's. And they go, I don't care. I'll pay whatever. No. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They only say that if they go, what are those? They go, these are Ken Griffey's. They cost 250 bucks. They'd be like, oh, well, they're not Jor- – I might as well get a pair of Jordans, you know, for the same price. You know, so it's just consumer psychology that I think a lot of these pe- brands aren't taking into consideration enough that, like I said, literally, I literally I buy every pair of Ultra Boost I see on sale. Like, you know, they cut, they retail like 180, you know, if I catch them for 130 all day, you know, I'm, I'm just buying like, yeah, yeah, sure. It's, it feels good. Just give it to me. I don't, you know, give it to like, whatever you get what I'm saying. So it's like, literally if Adidas was like, if Adidas was literally just smart, they'd just be like, well, why don't we just sell ultra boost for 150? And then there would be no ultra boost on the sale on the shelves. You get what I'm saying? If they were at 150, then every kid would have every person would, like they would be more common than shell toes. You know what I'm saying? Like people should be like, oh well, I want to put them on because they feel good. You know. So, so are they wor- So are they worried? Like these big companies worried about just profit, only profit. Like yeah, we need a Nike just yeah. came out with a sneaker for 180. So and you know what's stupid? We need one for you know what's stupid is that no shoe costs thirty dollars to make. You get what I'm saying? That's so crazy. these shoes don't even cost thirty dollars to make, and they're like. But the fact, the fact of the matter is, a shell toe costs like five dollars to make, and a and a ultra boost costs like twenty six dollars or twenty five dollars to make. You know, I'm making this number up. Wow. But you get what I'm saying? Like, there's actually there's a they cost like maybe a lot more than a shell toe, but they don't cost anything. You know what I'm saying? They still don't cost one eighty. You know what I'm saying? So the fact of the matter is, they're still gonna charge us one eighty all day, but. Like I said, I just look at it like, well, why not get Crocs more? You know, like, why not get cool, comfortable things that ain't are okay? Uh-oh. Sorry. You good? Mike fucked up. You can hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, like, I like the McCafe vibes. I was, I was McCafe earlier. Nice. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo. All right. So, wait. Question now. So what's the difference between getting your shoes from the factory and getting them from the store? Ooh, honey, ooh, you just Do you know anything up, about that? You just brought up one of my fave, one of, something I've been waiting to talk about all week. Thank you so much. Let's talk about reps. Okay, okay. Let's have the rep discussion. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, oh let's talk about it on tiktok because tiktok is the is the most social network right now whether you want to say it or not whether you like it or not tiktok is the most social place to be right now so whatever sorry guys the world's pretty much closed until next weekend so right now we're still on tiktok so you know what's going on on tiktok there's a fight there's a fight between i think two or three groups of people there's kids who buy reps there's sneakerheads who hate people who buy reps. And then there's the third people who are me. <laughs> so what do you think the third people are? People who, who don't care? Who don't give a fuck, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I love you, bro. I love you for calling. Bro. I was like, uh. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you so much. There are three groups of people out here. There are kids fighting each other over what sneakers other kids are wearing and then there are people laughing at, at all of them <laughs> including yeah. myself i am laughing at you fucking idiots for fucking for fucking thinking that if somebody gives a fuck what you wear but i'm not going to lie to you i like it because basically so i'm almost in the i'm almost in the group of i mean the third group is literally my group but we don't this group of people we don't care but we also don't care if you wear fake shoes. Like, what does it matter? 
know what I'm saying? Like, wear whatever you want to wear. If you, if, if only niggas who are mad are the niggas who could only get pussy because they were wearing Travis Scott sneakers, and now everybody's going to wear fake Travis Scott sneakers, and now they can't get no pussy. It's like, bro, get a personality. Do you have a personality? <laughs> like, do, yeah. aren't you – like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is – what the fuck, man? So, basically – these motherfuckers are mad. You can't wear those fake sneakers. Nobody should buy it. How is anybody going to give a fuck? We don't care. We don't like you. And it's like, uh, them niggas just wearing shoes. You just mad as fuck, ain't you? Because if you got the real shoe on, live. Go live with your real shoe on. If you well, got wait, fake question. Shoe, let him live. But 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 does like what's the difference between the fake and the real? Is there really That's the a thing. Difference? That's the thing. Okay. These kids have found the rep spot. Like the spot where you can literally buy really like the top of the line fakes that are literally not literally but extremely indistinguishable you and they're like, only fakes because they're you're buying from the factory and not the store exactly that's, exactly oh exactly. what the fuck I'll, they're well they're they're the not fun. licensed you get what i'm saying like if, if a factory goes and prints off 10 more pairs of nikes nike didn't ask you to do that so that makes them fake because nike didn't ask for those shoes you get what i'm saying so okay, it is a okay. fake shoe but it's not it's not at all different, <laughs> you know? So these motherfuckers are big mad. Like, there are people walking around just, just yeah, they big need mad relax. about it. And it's like, sorry, bro, you should have got a personality. <laughs> sorry you don't have a fucking personality <laughs> besides your sneakers. Now now that your whole sneaker dim- is done, now you look stupid <laughs> as hell because you ain't got no first you – know, you're nobody without your stupid sneakers, which is also the reason I'm not wearing sneakers, like, right now. That's, that's one of the big reasons I'm not wearing sneakers because I have a personality. And I hate, I'm, I'm sick of being like, well, uh, you know, let me, let me go. No. All right. Let me go start a conversation based on my shoes or something like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I can, there's stuff going on in the world. Let's, let's talk about anything. You get what I'm saying? It's stupid. So yeah. I ain't got time for it. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna move fucking time. So like you said, I'm in the third party of don't give a fuck. Well, where would you say you stand? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm buying real, man. I'm buying. Oh, I'm real. not buying fakes. Don't get me wrong. I never said I was buying. Fakes. <laughs> so I, I guess stop, I don't care. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna stop buying yeah. sneakers before I bought fakes. <laughs> but that's the thing, y'all niggas just mad because you thought you was gonna be the only one, and you're not. You know that's the only yeah. reason niggas is mad because oh you you thought that was gonna make you better than everybody. Now you just regular because everybody got the same sneakers as you. Oh, you get you went and got a robot for the internet. Oh, you wasted all your time and money on robots and sneakers. Now, now the game fucked up. Yeah, yeah. guess what, buddy? The game's always going to be fucked up. I remember when I was a little kid and people stopped liking Pokemon cards. And I had so fucking many, I felt so stupid. I was like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck I've been doing for the last two fucking years of my life? Collecting all these goddamn Pokemon cards. That's mad man, funny. You fucking figure something out. You get a personality. Fucking try something else, jackass. Quit chasing That's- hype, you fucking... Yo, I still can't believe they found the reps, though, bro. Shit. That's oh, man. Wild. you want me to, I'll send you the links. I think I sent you some links, but yeah, I'll send you the links. Dude, it's just I mean, crazy, man. It's just that's... insane that, you know, the the way that, like, come on. How are you going to care? How could I care what you got on? Like, for real. I want people to know that about this podcast is that one thing I don't give a fuck is what you wear. I'm here to talk about art. You know, I'm not here to talk about what you got on. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, not going to lie, though. I'm not going to lie. I give, I definitely give props to people when I see certain things on their feet. Like, I, I read, um, I was at work, actually, and there was this guy, and he had uh, undefeated fours on. But the way he was wearing it, like, let's say you, you wasn't able one? to see, like, yeah, 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 he, dude, mad expensive. And I'm like, mm-hmm. who are you? Like, I, I went up to him like that, like, weird. Like, who are you? And he's like, oh, dude, what are you talking about? I saw, I I'm saw like, why do you have those? Why you just have those casually on your feet like that? Like, I'm talking about dudes wearing like a, like his, the upper was like, he went to, it just didn't matter. And Wait then, till we get to kicks in the street, kicks on your feet. Because I, that, that I want to get into exactly that, which is like some of these kids were like in the grocery store with $10,000 shoes on them, like, and dirty pants, you know, like dirty ass clothes. I'm like, <laughs> hmm, okay, okay. That's not funny. But yeah, what, what would you say is next? Blue, go in the Come room, on. Blue. Huh? Sorry. Oh no, my dog. He's like crying over there. I'm like, hey, bro. <laughs> oh, poor puppy. Um. I saw. All right. So we were talking. We were talking about like materials and factories and stuff. So New Balance is dropping a, a 998, but I guess with like it's like a responsibility uh program or whatever they're doing, 
and it's like just like fucking like just materials that they I guess like extra material that they found around. So like I guess they covered the shoe with this material. How do you feel about it? There's one of them. That's the shoe. Yeah, like I guess like for art purposes, I don't know. No, that's if that's, that's the shoe. I, 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 you know, I love it. Like you said, based on art. Like I love, I like the design. I'll just put it somewhere. It's a nice piece of art. Uh, for you know, I don't think sure. you're supposed to wear this. I don't think so. Either. Are you supposed to wear? It looks like you can. So I guess it comes like this, and then I don't know. I mean, I I respect it. I don't need it. I respect it. You get what I'm saying? I respect Ooh, what they're doing. Me. I'm not. I'm not like thirsty for it at all. Question though. So, what they're doing with the material is like, oh, it's like really like eco friendly and all that. But like, what do you? What is? What is the consumer supposed to do with all this pile of rubble? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because I'm gonna throw that shit away. Started, yeah, I almost started by saying that I don't give a fuck about sneaker <laughs> stories right now. I almost don't give <laughs> like stories are gimmicks right now. Like all these stories are just stupid gimmicks. They're just like, oh, this this thing captures the soul of 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 Shaolin. It makes me it, it's such it, the rivers make you feel. It's like nigga, I'm wearing shoes, nigga. If I got like you know, I just want to wear the shoes. You wilding? <laughs> Y'all niggas wilding with these stupid ass stories. <laughs> stupid ass stories. Yeah, uh, that's stupid not ass nigga story looking ass boy. Stupid ass. Stupid ass New Balance. We supposed to wear that? Where the left shoe at? What? Uh, it's only got one shoe. Weird ass New Balance looking ass. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, you flaming them. <laughs> um, hold up, hold up. So another thing too, I wanted to throw out there, uh, Vandy the pink. This is the sneaker shoe that I was talking about. I mean, the burger shoe that I was talking about uh, before, and I couldn't find them because it's called Vandy the the pink. Um, yeah, this is his shoe. A burger shoe. This is like the first drop. How do you feel about these? That's garbage. That's that's poo poo. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Vandy. I don't think that Vandy's a bad guy, or you know, I don't think that that person's a bad person. I'm just, I'm just not in the mood for dunks. Like, I'm just not in the mood to see. I'm just not in the mood for this. There's just too many of them right now. Does that make sense? There's too many. Oh, can I say something? This is not a dunk. This is I not know. An official. That's, Nike I know. Club. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's too many. Fucking high rollers and and bandies and and fucking uh, shout out house phone. Yeah, what's the ones with the little with the little skull on them? Like, there's still all this stupid. Uh, oh, the Reaper shoes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's too many of those. I'm like, can you guys just stop? We get it. Nike's dick tastes great. Can y'all stop sucking Nike's <laughs> dick now? Yeah, you're funny like, cause that. that's all they're doing. Like this, like literally, if you buy this shoe, sure you can buy this one, but what does your other pair of shoes have to be? You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, sure, I'm going to take this shoe off. Now what are you going to wear? The other colorway? No. There's no more colorways. So you're going to have to put on a dunk now. So it's just, are you, you're just advertising dunks, literally. You know, because all your pants are going to be cut for your dunks. You know, you're going to be wearing pants that look great with dunks. And then you're going to take off your vans and say, man, I want to wear a different pair of shoes today. But all my pants look great in dunks because I bought these fucking shoes. Now what do I wear? Oh, dunks. Dunks is the only option. So, Yo, but all right, but why does it, so so why did the dude who made the Reaper shoe got all that flack? But then Vandy, who did a SB collab recently, he did I think he did it too. Um how how is he able to still make this and not get in trouble? Now well, is, because, what, because first off, those dudes did it first. You know what the Reaper I, I want to remember the Reaper shoe's name. What's his name? Uh Los. Shit. What's his name? Lotus. Lo uh, yeah, Warren, yeah, Warren Lotus. Warren Lotus, yeah, yeah. Whenever he came out with that shit, he did it first, and he got shitted on because he was first. You know what I'm saying? Because he was like – you get what I'm saying? Like, nobody was – Was he first? I, I uh, he was the, well, might have... Hold on. He wasn't first for sure. He was not – of course, not the first person. Don't get me wrong. He was just the first uh, person to be really successful with it. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay. he was the first right. one to, like, blow up, and his shit was popping. That's why Nike was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, I think they sent him a cease and desist, no? Yeah, they stopped that. <clears throat> yeah, so they was like, no, 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 no. Hey, well, let me make sure. I want to actually. <laughs> They're like, you need to calm down. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and and um, he also dropped um another colorway. He dropped two more colorways: a veggie and a spicy burger. Just oh, so okay. You know. Let me see them. Can you pull them up? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I would love to look at those. I mean, because you get you get what I'm saying. I just feel like it's not a bad idea or nothing, but it's just like okay, all my other shoes will be dunks if I wear that. You know, so it's it's cool. It's just. It's like, like I said, if you notice the Yeezy shoes look good with other Yeezy shoes and they, you know what I'm saying? They help each other out. You know what I'm saying? It's getting, and they like, yeah. that's why I was saying he's competing with Nike because he's making a whole silhouette style. You know what I'm saying? No, Those nice. are fire though. Big. Those are fire. Which one do you like better? <laughs> Those red ones are fire actually. And the green ones. Yeah, actually, they're nice. both fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but like I said, I would just rather get dunks of the exact same color. Call me crazy, but if I was going to wear that, I would just go buy the dunks. No, I, I don't you. understand wearing that shoe. Like, unless unless Vandy's is my company, unless I, like, grew up with that company or something. Like, don't get me wrong, dude. When Zaxby's drops a shoe, I don't give a fuck if K-Swiss makes it. I'm rocking that shoe. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. If, I don't care. If Zaxby's drop a fucking uh, hot honey mustard fucking shoe, boy, I'm out. I'm out the door while you bullshit. <laughs> That would be a great collab. Yeah, if yeah. Waffle House collabs with fucking Adidas or Nike, I'm in. I don't give a fuck. Like, you get what I'm saying? There's certain Dude. companies where I'm like, I fuck with that company already, you know? But I don't know anything about Vandy. I don't I don't actually know. Even McDonald's. I would actually – I actually love the McDonald's uh, Pro Highs. You know, I, we're going to get to those and kicks in the street. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah, those heat. are fucking fire. The All-Americans mm. and shit. I'm like, those are fire. So, I'm, I love certain brands, you know? When they do things, I just don't know that brand, and I'm not a dick. I'm not gonna just jump on something, you know, and just be like, "Oh, I gotta like this. Oh, it must be cool." Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. no, I'm one that I, I got real. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie though. I appreciate the 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 concept and the execution because even like to down to like the 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 packaging and everything, everything is like concept, you know, all the way through. So. Shout out yeah, to yeah, for like, it, no, you know. exactly. I'm not mad at them at all. Like I said, I thought I thought those last two shoes were fire. You know, they, they look cool, but I just don't have any history with this brand. Like I don't, it, does, it doesn't mean it, the brand doesn't mean anything to me. So I can't. I'm not like that's what I mean. Like I feel like so many people, like when Cause dropped the fours, so many people have discovered Cause. You yeah. get what I'm saying? It's like, you don't know. Do you care about who Cause is? Like, do you know him? Do you like him? Do you, do you know any of his work? Well, they're gray. we got to get these gray fours. And it's like, that's stupid. You don't know that brand or like that brand. You're just... They glow you know, in the dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're just a dick rider. You know, and that, like, like, I'm here to kill that. You know, I'm here to kill people who don't have a taste of their own. You know, I mean? that's what, that's like literally why I rant every week. That's my... That's what I champion, having a taste of your own, <laughs> like figuring out what you actually like as opposed to fucking what hype beast told you to like or what the internet told you was going to be fire. It's like, why don't you figure it the fuck out? Why don't you have a personality? Because I will fucking buy 20 pairs of reps and, and give them all to homeless people so they are all wearing the same shoes as you, <laughs> you fucking bitch. If you fucking think you're stupid, you know, if you think you're so cool for any reason Ooh. i don't give a fuck i will buy i will yeah let me get rich i'm buying reps of expensive shoes just to buy just to give to homeless people and ruin the market <laughs> you get what i'm saying just to ruin That's the marketplace you know what I'm saying? like i'll buy 20 pairs of canary <laughs> canary ones <laughs> or canary uh off-whites ones and then just go give them the bums <laughs> and then just let and then let every hype be like try to buy Mickey them. You will be like, bums. What's happening? The suits will like, go crazy. All these bums get these shoes like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> you thought you were special, nigga. My boy, my boy, my boy, my boy Jerome down here on the street got the same shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. Yo, um because fuck all uh, that. You can't have a like having a taste of your own is not saying, well, nobody's got these. Maybe nobody wanted those. <laughs> you know maybe nobody wanted your shit ass nobody wanted curry dunks <laughs> like, I, I know i flame curry dunks way too often you always but... shit on them those are nice bro <laughs> <laughs> nobody those are nice i hear you i hear you i'm not mad i'm not mad you really don't like those huh it just don't make no guy I, I like them just like i said but they don't deserve any hype like they did they're a solid shoe to wear go get you a pair wear them but they don't deserve exaltation <laughs> you know they don't deserve oh this is the highest, greatest. It's like, eh, relax and take notes. <laughs> take notes. Yeah. This, yeah, I feel like this this uh this episode needs to be titled "Relax." Relax. <laughs> a lot of these, a lot of these people, I need to relax. Um, 
I need to relax while you bullshit. Ooh. So these are well. Did you try to attempt to even get these? Uh, come on. Came today Is that even morning. a question? Like, that's not even a question. I didn't. I would never try to get anything from Travis Scott. Like, I, if I saw Travis Scott right now outside of my house, I wouldn't even go outside and get a, an autograph, even though I would want one. Even though I would want one, I fuck with Travis Scott. I just know that he's gonna. If, as soon, there's no reason for me to even approach him. He's gonna get mobbed by a million. Like, I'm, I'm good, bro. Yeah. Be safe, yeah. buddy. Good to see. You know, it's cool. I don't, even, I don't want a picture. I don't want a sneakers. I don't want anything. You live, buddy. You do your thing. You're the shit. Like, cause I really do feel like this. I feel like these are great. But it's like, the, like so I said, good. it's the type of thing where it's like, no, ch- you ever, uh, who's, whose intro music is that? Fuck, whose intro music is that? Mm-hmm. Is it Triple H? I want to say it's, no, Triple H's intro music is, you think you're ready for the game? You think you can play the game? <laughs> but uh, who's, who's, somebody, some wrestler's intro music is, no chance. That's what you got to do. It was X Pac. Yeah, X Pac. Okay. His, his music is no chance. That's what, I hear that music whenever I see Travis Scott's shoes. He's like, no chance. That's what you got. That's funny you remember that. Now I remember that now that you, yeah. you, you said that. That was my fun. That's how I feel about Travis. Like, these are fire, but these there's not good. a chance in the world that I'll be able to. These are the only sixes I've ever liked, I want to say. What? Yep. I don't even I hate you sixes. What? Oh yeah, yeah, that's that. right. You don't like the you don't like the fucking um I don't yeah, like the yeah. athleticism of them. I'm not I'm not a baller. So no, I don't want to wear these fucking basketball and looking ass shoes, but this is a great colorway. Like this I love the distressedness of the, you know, of like the the suede and shit. I love it all. Yeah, that that hairy suede is everything. I almost like these a little bit better than the green ones. Um Yeah, those are trash. Yeah. Just like because they look better. like sneakers you know I, like these look like sneakers still the other ones don't look like sneakers you know they don't look like basketball sneakers these these do look nice though too man I, i'm a i'm i'm like like i don't know like tan like brown earth tones man i'm just i'm just with it man yeah and, i'm not uh, mad at the colors it is because this goes back to the lebron situation you know it's not about the colors it's just the, the shoe in general where I'm not going to say I like, like, if, if you if you take my least favorite shoe and then put it in the best colorway, I'm still not going to pretend, like, like it. I'm just going to say I don't like that shoe still. You just don't like the silhouette. And yeah. that's how I feel, I feel I, like this is one of my favorite colorways, just so you know, but I don't like the shoe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why you knew about the Undefeated 4. You was like, oh, Undefeated 4? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course, cool, exactly. Because I'm like, it's green? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the green? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so sick. I don't, I don't even own. I don't even own. Well, I do. I do. I own like five or six pairs of green shoes. I was just about to say I don't even own green shoes. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you do. I own, which ones? You, I own, which ones? I own you like got? three pairs of Stan Smith boosts for some reason. Ooh, <laughs> like you know, I'm sick. I okay. I got a problem. Like I own. I like. I'm I'm down for buying like the same shoe. You know, I'm like, let me just get more. Like I'm like, cause one day they won't sell that. So let me have. Dude, them. that's one thing that I need to start doing. I need to start. Uh, <laughs> uh doubling up man i I feel like i i'd be i'd be slacking with that shit yeah i got mad but also shoes that they will sell forever i have mad pairs of like i have like (laughs) two pairs of rod labor you know i got like all types of just random isn't that the rod labor that's the adidas you were telling me about right yeah yeah with like it's a nice perforated holes and shit it's a cool little it's like a very ten. it's the original tennis tennis silhouette you know but um Yo, we gotta say happy birthday, my guy. For who? My boy Tinger Hatfield today. Today? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Today or birthday. today or yesterday? Because this will come out. This comes out on Saturday. Sure. All right, and yesterday then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do a little quick Tinker rundown. Let's look at his top ten sneaker designs. Okay. All right. Okay. I was like about to be like, all right, fuck this then. <laughs> no, um, no, it's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, like we'll be, we'll be, we'll be there. Okay, all right. we'll be there. So I didn't know he made the air raids. Um, that's cool. I like the air raids. How about you? How how you like these uh uh thingy majiggies here? I like Tinker. I I like his uh. I like how none of the designs look exactly alike. You know, I like I like how he's got a full artistic scale you know what i'm saying he's got a full like artistic way he's going like he he 
he look he takes a shoot he like builds a shoot from the ground up you know he's designing it he's understanding it so i i appreciate it no i don't want these you know but yeah i appreciate it you like these i don't no, know those are fire these. those are those are classics though come on those are those are fucking classy coke <coughs> classy coke fives you love fives yeah, fives are way um, better than sixes. What the fuck? Why are they tied? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> sixes don't exist. <laughs> they are trash. You're bugging, yo. The, the infrared sixes is classic, bro. All right. Come on, bro. Uh, classic it may be. It doesn't make it good. This is a this is a classic as well. Fire, beautiful. Uh-oh. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't believe you've seen these in person, man. That's crazy. I know. I can't believe I saw them on a homeless man. <laughs> like, that's what the craziest thing is. Beautiful. Oh, Ugh. <laughs> but that's what I mean. I fuck with Tink for that. You know, I fuck with him for having such a, for all his designs being so different, you know, and one shoe being literally my least favorite shoe from Nike. The other shoe being literally my most favorite shoe from Nike. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. got years out here, man. He's been yeah, designing forever. Also, he didn't make any of these shoes 100% himself. I don't know. He got a team. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if anybody realizes that. Yeah. I want to imagine that. Imagine he really came up. Yo, he would be a rich man. Yeah, that he, he was just drawing rich. this shit in his pad. He was just like, I got a new idea. It's called the Hirachi. You know, it's like, no, no, bro. I think if you're pumping out this many ideas, you, you got, I don't know. What man. colorway so, is that? So just what so colorway is this shoe? Because that's fire. Oh, you never seen these ones? No, I've never seen them in that colorway. What colorway is that? Is that a, um, I swear this is OG. Yeah, it looks like what's-his-name made it. What's his name? What's his name? He's like, I'm different. What's his name? He's like, I'm different. I hang out with Dane Dash. Uh, I'm from the Brooklyn. What's his name? He makes a bunch Clark, of shoes with Clark Nike. Kent? Yeah, Clark Kent. It looks like Clark Kent made those. Fire. That should be number one, the Air Max one. This colorway? This should be the number one. Yeah, I think so. This is a, this is a great shoe. I think that it's garbage. I think it's, a hood, <laughs> it's a hood it's a hood classic it's a it hood is classic. dude this is the most hood classic shoe of all time like jordan 11s is the hood like if you're yeah. not if you, i i completely understand that this is Everywhere. that's the hood tuxedo right there if you're in the hood you put that on you got you got a tuxedo on your feet while you bullshit shout out to tinker man oh man these are the, this, they if, put if this, this is number one shoe yeah number one the three or he picked this as his favorite I think it was grilled. I don't know if it was an interview or not. I ain't got time for that. All right. That, that Air Max One is clearly the most influential, the best shoe he's ever made. Oh, it's Tinker Hatfield's 10 best sneaker designs. Oh, yeah. But I think Goat uh, or Grailed, somebody somebody decided who which one had the best. Yeah, not him. Know. Not him. Yeah. Not him. So, yeah, I'm not mad at, at, the, at your boy, at, at Tink Tink. I think he'd be killing it, dog. Shout out to that guy. I think he. I think he's a real OG. Like you know, I'm not mad at him at all. Just because I don't like everything a person does, you know. Just like I'll tell you right. I'll show. You, we went through Kanye shoes. I'm like that one's trash. That one's great. Kanye's great. You know what I'm saying? Like he can have trash designs and still be great. You get what I'm saying? Like, and Hirachis are trash, but Tinker is great. <laughs> is literal the great. Like Hirachis are the worst shoe ever made, but Tinker's great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, and that's a terrible way to end it. Let me let me make it clear. Jordan <laughs> like, 11s. Yeah, let me be nice. Let me be nice. Jordan 11s hood classics. The hood, we need those shoes in the hood. Uh, threes, some of the most underrated shoes of all time. I fuck with threes. You know, I fuck with because I've, I'm coming back around. Once the uh, like you can do threes in really good colorways and shit. You know, Air Max One. Yeah. Come the fuck on. Probably top three best shoes of all time. I don't care what nobody says. You know, so I'm not yeah. mad at, at Tink at all. I think that guy's the shit, and I think he's a real inspiration. He's the reason I talk. Like, he's the reason I want to do this. Because I'm not into just, like I said, I'm not into just people telling me what I'm supposed to, what I'm allowed to like, or, you know, or telling me what's okay. It's like, go, let's go, let's go different. Let's switch it up all the time. So I'll fuck with your boy. Shout out to Tink. So I would like, um, yeah, let's end it there with flowers. With flowers. Ugh, I, how do you feel about Sakai's, man? I was hoping that we didn't even have to, that everybody just forgot, that just didn't know that this happened. I'm, I'm surprised it. you really don't like this shoe. I mean, I'm over it. It's so stupid. It's so it, This shoe looks so desperate. 
Like this shoe, it just it just reeks of desperation. It seems like that somebody was just desperate to make it on the heist piece. You know, like somebody was like, oh, I hear they're making the soles big and we need an old school. It's just like, it's this, this, this feels like it was workshop. You know, like this feel, this design feels like they threw a bunch of things on the board and were like, so Travis is doing backward swooshes. What, what should we do? Hey, let's, let's try maybe, maybe two swooshes, two swooshes. Yeah. Yeah. Two swooshes. You know, and they just wrote it all down. They're like, oh, we're going to do two swooshes. Let's, let's do like two tones, you know, two tones. Oh, okay. You know, and they just threw it all on the board and were just like, yeah. And then they were just like the kid, the height, the kids are gonna love this, you know. And yes, they, it, it seem like I said, it seems like on paper this should, this is a great shoe. I just don't know why I hate it, because like I said, it just seems so desperate. It seems like so, so desperate. That's the only way I can put it. Like so, they're so thirsty to, you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding? Um, maybe it's be, maybe it's because you you own like the real waffles, so you know. <clears throat> yeah, but can it's a, everybody? It's a remix of a waffle. Yeah, can everybody or are they like? Do they sell those? Do they sell real waffles? Actually, like they drop every now and then, but I, but but people who really love them, they they cop them. And, yeah, yeah, they buy them. Yeah, me, you know me, I ain't, I ain't playing with the old. I ain't playing with the old. I like them, man, and I mean it's real weird, obscure looking, but I feel like that's Sakai. You know, it makes sense. You know, um, the shoe makes sense. I think the, the from the first drop, the burgundy was probably the best color. I've never seen these colors together like this, and I feel like they complement each other. No, really I, I well. think that's a good colorway. I just think yeah. the shoe is stupid, but I do think that's a great colorway. It's silly color. It's a silly shoe, but um, they look good on feet. Um, I see. I see a lot of chicks wearing these shoes, so they yeah, look good on, it's a it's on, cool. On exactly. I'm not. And don't get me wrong. Even if I hate a shoe, even if it's a, even if it's a Hirachi, you know. I'm sure you can dress them. Yeah, like you can wear them right. You know what I'm saying? Like there is a way to do it. You know. So I'm not. Yeah. I'm not like, oh, it can't be done. Nobody would ever wear that. It should ever wear that ever. You know. But I'm just not. I'm just not buying it. Like it's just like if you if you come <laughs> to my house and and I don't know everyone else in the world exists. Like imagine you don't know anybody exists. You know what I'm saying? If somebody brings that shoe. You're like, hey man, this is the new thing. It's gonna be blah, 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 blah. You'd be like. Nigga, can I get my wa- can I get some waffles or some fucking horses or something? Some real shit. Why you get why are you trying to sell me this weird shit? Like, but if, if but like speaking of it, that new Adidas shoe, what's it called? The ADR, I think it is. You know what I'm talking about? The new one that's all weird that everybody's wearing. The ADR by Adidas. Hold on, I'll show you. I'll pull it up. Yeah, put me on. It's the one that we've been talking about like a lot. Oh, 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 the, the all foam 3D printing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shoe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are nice. That shoe is makes me happy. <laughs> you know? Yes. That's a good and that is shoe, not man. a bad. You get what I mean? That's not like all bad. Oh, oh, shit. I'm in the. Hold on. Hold on. I'm very sorry. I sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just got, I just got excited about some things I've seen here. Oh shit! Yeah, I gotta I'm get just... like a better chair, man. You said you gotta posture. get a better chair. Yeah, I'm making my posture right. Yo. What kind of chair you got, yo? I'm in like a computer chair. Is it comfortable? My computer chair fucking hurts. Look, I'm in like one of these. You know? Oh, oh, it's leather. Oh shit! Nice little roller guy. It's pretty. It's pretty legit. Um, you mind if I get into some subject real quick, fast, in a hurry? Yeah, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go with this little post I just saw and it's like um it's like uh how do I explain it it is like what's dropping this week you feel me now this is crazy because this is shoes we've been talking about already right yeah we've pretty much been on it yeah but the thing is Oh, oh, because this is last week. Okay, never mind. <laughs> now I get, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, never mind. I'm so sorry for even pulling that up. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That makes There's sense. a couple of them that we didn't talk about. On there. Yeah, but they already are, like. Most of them are out, yeah. It don't matter. Yeah, <laughs> like, I hate to say that. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude <laughs> at nobody, but they don't matter. Um. Yeah, I ain't got no more subjects. I want to talk about kicks in the street, kicks on your feet. I know you're excited about it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about one more shoe. I just want to get your, like, like how you feel about this shoe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, let's right. talk about five more. I'm into it. Let me, uh, 
Could you host disabled me? Oh yeah, my bad. Um, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just yeah, I just put myself on just to do some that dumb shit. Oh shit! What the hell? Kicks on straight. Kicks on your feet. Mm-hmm. All right. How do you feel about this shoe? Talking about obscure shoes before, um, like that's cool. I didn't even know these exist. Like until I seen them, like on ASAP Rocky. I was like, what the fuck. That's hard. I guess on my raft. Is back. Did you know about these already or no? No, I've never seen these before. They're hard. You rocking these? Yeah. I'm wearing these this summer. How much are those? Are those a can are those like does anyone own those besides Rocky? And maybe Raf? Yeah, does anybody have this shoe? I've never seen anybody else. Let me see how much. Uh, let me look. I don't want to show you guys. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, w- I would, I would, I would, I want that type of thing. I'm into that. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I can't even. Oh, they they just sold on Grail. Um, oh, really? So they are a ra- well. I'm sure now that Rocky wore them, they're gonna cost more and stuff, and nobody's. Twenty five. They sold for twenty five hundred. Original price was six uh, sixty five. So. Six fifty. Uh no um yeah what is retail two, price two thousand five hundred oh, what's retail no, yeah well, I'm looking retail? on Grail I think retail is like sixteen hundred I think that's what it said on one of those articles you just had up it was like ASAP Rocky wears sixteen hundred dollar RAF shoes or something like that okay all right but yeah so it it, it sold for twenty five it was originally six thousand wait so it went down in value. Yeah, it went down. It went back down. Because nobody's paying 6 Gs for this shit. Someone was originally trying to sell them for 6 Gs, but I feel like they were just trying. Like, just trying. Oh, okay, it. okay. Yeah, no, I'm saying, what is the retail? You don't know what the retail... Well, did they ever release maybe, retail? Maybe, maybe like you said, 1600 or whatever. But, um, yeah. Because I'm on Grail right now. That's the only thing that I see that, like, they're even... Um... Uh, can I do a quick fashion spotlight? And just uh, shout out cool people that I think is good. There's this person. I don't know if you're aware of them, but their name is Kid Super. Are you familiar with that person? Yeah. Yeah, he makes cool clothes. I just want to make sure that people (laughs) that watch us know this guy makes cool clothes. I like it. There you go. That's my story. (laughs) Shout out to Kid Super. No, he's tight. He's tight. Yeah, your boy kill it. And then, and he's really like blowing up kind of. So he'll be he'll be cliche in a couple years. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll be he'll be, you know, you know, he'll be one of those guys in a couple years. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like I mean he already got his first collab with Puma so and he did a really good job with them. So Yeah, and everybody already wears their sh- his shit. Like so I saw I think I saw like Jake Paul wearing him on the way to his fight, and I was like, Oh fuck, Kid Super is burnt <laughs> you know <laughs> like i thought it was like you know i thought it was like it's like only like fashion people knew but now it's yeah. now it's like everybody yeah yeah he's out there so that's one that's damn one yo those those raps came on 08 bro i wasn't even thinking they, they came out for 1800 originally oh, okay okay yeah in 08 wow. good lord mm-hmm. i was what was i even thinking about in 08 little wayne yeah, literally, yeah. Lil Wayne. If you weren't thinking about Lil, Lil Wayne, Wayne Cassidy. Fake. Yeah. <laughs> well, Cassidy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was listening to Cassidy in like, oh, Did 04. you watch that battle? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, dude. Hitman Holla is literally, literally the worst battle rapper of all time. If you lose to Cassidy, Damn. you suck. Like you, you are you are the worst. And he lost definitively to Cassidy. What kind of fucking loser loses to Cassidy? Like I literally just, I like I only watched <laughs> half the battle. I just put my head. I was just like, what a fucking idiot. Like what the? How do you like yeah. that? Should be easy money. Like you know, it should be easy money to beat Cassidy. What are you doing with these nineteen, yeah. these oh six bars talking about? You oh, thought he was gonna <laughs> ride up. And then I was going to hit him with the blah, blah, blah. It's like, shut the fuck up, bro. We are in 2021. <laughs> Nobody believes you. Like, you can't be funny now. You're like, you know what I'm saying? We're in the age of be funny. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Yeah. 
So that's yeah, that's my story. I'm like, I don't fucking understand this guy. Not one I think it was the hype, though. I think I think Cass just had the hype behind him with it, you know. Well, but the thing is, he said real shit. Like, he said smarter things. He was talking about how he uh, went and got an autograph from him back in the day and shit like that. And then Hitman didn't have no rebuttals to nothing. He was just, you old. Damn. Ah. We gonna punch him off the stage. It's like shut the, shut the fuck up. Like come on, the come on, come on. How do you lose? Oh, so he kind of he, so he did the Eminem thing pretty much. Like, like acknowledge pretty much what it was like, and it was just like, okay, I am old, but now I'm here right now. So. Yeah, now I'm gonna <laughs> fuck you up. And then Hitman was just like, yeah, but you old though. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I know. You was listening to my mixtapes, remember? I'm the shit, just so you know. I killed, you know, I'm about to kill you right now. And he's like, yeah, but you old, though. You know, Cassidy was like, Cassidy was like, when he was at Wild and Out, Hitman was running around right behind him like a duckling or some shit. I was just like, damn, he is sunning him. Like, he is not making him look good. How do you lose to Cassidy? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I just saw Cassidy consistently lose every battle he's ever, he's ever been in. And then beat Hitman Hollow. Like, get the fuck. Hitman is the worst in the world. Like, throw him away. <laughs> throw Hitman Hollow away. I'm so glad you brought that up. <laughs> throw this guy into the garbage. Who, who are you? I, right now, battle rapper. Right now, who could have who could have done better? Anybody. Literally anybody can beat Cassidy except for Hitman Hollow. Like, literally every battle rapper that's worth a name that is that has a popular name. Can beat hit, hit uh, can kill Hitman Holla, but can I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't even know that world, but like Murder Mook, would, would he be a good one? Murder Mook would have killed Cassidy. He's not that great right now. He's old, he's aged, he's got blah blah blah, but he would have killed Cassidy for sure. Just the way that he raps is very roast oriented and shit. He would have yeah, killed yeah. Cassidy. Um, but honestly, I don't watch battle rap. I don't like it because I used to watch it a lot. And I told myself I'm not watching any battle rap ever again until Loaded Lux battles Daylight. You know, these are, those, are two, those are like the two mythical guys. And they both are just waiting out this, this battle because they know that at the end of this battle, there will be no more battle rap. <laughs> so basically, they've been doing it for like three years now, just telling us, hey, it's coming. It's coming. I'm like, well, I'm not watching the other shit. Believe that. <laughs> like, you okay. better believe that shit. I'm not so watching. Daylight, Daylight and Loaded Lux are the top That's dudes. the only people I'm watching. Those, and okay. they're not battling anybody else until they battle each other. Like, they have one more battle left in them. You know what they want. They want yeah. that chicken. They want a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, they're like, can we get a million? Like, for after that, you know? Uh oh. I'm sorry. No, I definitely I'm feel sorry. that. It's over after that, though, so. Yo, did we talk about the season finale? Of what, Snowfall? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we did. You want to, uh, Yo, Snowfall's funny. How, it end, how you feel about that ending? I hope the daddy gets shot. I don't know why they didn't sh just shoot his ass already. They must have wanted a cliffhanger, but I hope daddy gets shot. Believe that. <laughs> I hope he, oh, oh, you thought, you thought, my boy's going to just let him go? <laughs> He's like, no. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Uh, but know. my question is, you think his mama set him up? He said, you think the mama set up the daddy? Because you I see how she so. walked she, out? She was like, she loyal. Hey, to the start, baby. Nah, <laughs> I was she, like, she damn, loyal. she kind of got fatty. But then, <laughs> then she walked her ass out. And then she was like, <laughs> and then next thing nah. you know. Nah, my boy, my boy's just stealthy with it. That's all. You know, he be, you know. Yeah, that's the CIA, um, boy. Uh, what do you think about the whole argument everybody's having about the wire? Snowfall and Power. How would you rank those three shows? Oh, that well, all right. Maybe I maybe I don't deserve to be in this conversation because I've never seen The Wire. I need to see the same, wire first. Same. Same. I've right, never seen right, the wire. So I guess right. we're both on the same page. But is the right. have you seen Power? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. clearly that's um, clearly way behind. <laughs> like, you know, like yeah, this is clearly yeah. just the last place of every show. <laughs> so I don't understand um, how that show even makes it in the conversation. Me, me and my girl enjoyed Power. We didn't like how it ended, but um, that the the and then the the was like the not oh, I like the new old? the new power show. All right. Okay. Yeah, you don't like so, that? I like the new one. It's I weird. like it, but it's like too teeny boppy. Yeah, like. it's a little teeny. <laughs> but boy, my boy slanging though. He out here, he out here getting. I'm like, let's go, let's go. 50k today, 50k again. I'm like, let's go. Yeah, he's but killing it. 
So I, I appreciate Tariq. Like I've always liked Tariq because he didn't make himself. This is this is an argument I've had with like my parents before. <laughs> They'd be like, "Why you do?" I'm like, "I didn't make me. I came from your coochie." So you need to figure out what's happening in your coochie that's popping out weirdos because yeah, I'm here. He's, he's definitely a product of his environment. For exactly. Sure. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's like, that's what I mean. It's like, what y'all tell me, you know, my mom, some, you know, let me not expose myself too much, but you know, say I was doing something I shouldn't be doing. So she's like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, it's the, it's the life, this is the situation I'm in. You know, like this is the life I have to, I have to lead to provide for myself. I don't understand. You know, if you give me a loan of a million dollars, please. No, all right then. I'm Franklin in the street. A, a dude, a loan, a loan of a million dollars, dude. I promise you, like I will not go broke. Yeah, and nobody. I know. Goes I know. Broke. Obviously, I'm gonna. I mean, yeah, mill. Come on, man. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna flip that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make that work for mm. sure. For sure. Damn. Yeah, I like I'm literally gonna invest eighty percent of it and then just never work again. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna invest eighty percent, buy a house. I probably I won't even buy a car. I'll just be like, yeah, I'm chilling. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm good. I'm like literally 5% investment gains on 80 grand is enough to live off. You know, off 800K is enough to live off of. I'm good. I get all wild. You know, I go, I go do my little 5% gains all day. I don't need, I don't need shit. Um, I'm not going to lie. I might, I might still, I might still work a little bit, maybe like a little part-time or something just to just be out, you know, just. Be yeah, I mean, I'm, I would, I would shop a lot. Like I would do exactly what I do, which is, like constantly thrift you know and just constantly buy random things but at the same time not i'm not buying like cars or anything i'm just like you know buying the same shit i'm always buying like random hoodies and shit you know like yeah look at that hoodie like i don't even because i don't even have like a taste for you know fear of god or something i only have a taste for like i said thrift shit like cool shit like things that you can't really i mean i okay i might end up spending money on like on like old jeans, <laughs> you know, I might end up spending like hundreds of dollars on like old jeans and shit, but that's it. Like I wouldn't go, you know, I wouldn't go too crazy. Small loan of a million bucks. Buy me Yo, some old so jeans. I, I might buy like a couple of, a couple of shirts of like events that I really respected, like Atlanta Olympics 96, you know, whatever it costs. So that might be like a $200 shirt or something, you know, I'll go pick that up. Or, or, oh, uh, do you have anime tees at all? Anime? Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know because you know what? I was just thinking that, that I need to go through my shirts because it's summertime and shirts are coming out, you know? And I don't remember all the shirts I have. Like I have so many, I have like the weirdest shirts, like some are sprayed or some are like air, what are they called? Airbrushed, you know? And then some are, uh, yeah, some are like just from every random like trucking company and shit. And then some are like, I have uh, what's his name? What's his name? I got this really funny shirt. It's a Johnny Manziel shirt, and I forget what it says. It says like Johnny can do it or some shit. It's like a, it says something really funny because he failed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a really funny thing. It's like Johnny can't fail or some shit like that, but he failed. So I just keep all the shirts that like make me laugh or you know or like relate to history in that type of way. I'm like, oh yeah, Johnny That's Manziel <laughs> could have done. It. I have a, a shirt that is, I have shirts from like presidents that that were running for president but didn't win. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like so I have like all that type of weird shit. Um, That's cool. I can't remember the dude's name, but whoever ran against Bill Clinton, like, but not as the Republican, the guy who was the conservative. Like, I, I have. That's the point. Is like, I have. Uh, I got shirts for Fantasia. Like, I got a Fantasia. I got like weird Fantasia concert shirts, and like, that's uh, tight. you know who the Spanish group Mana is. M-A-N-A. No. Oh, you ain't lived in L.A. long enough, though, then. Because my boy, a Mana concert comes out. I-, I didn't even know who they were until I moved to L.A. And then everybody was walking around downtown, like, look, you know, with fatties and looking Spanish. And shit. I was like, who the fuck is, what is going on? And they were like, Mana. You never seen Mana? You know, I don't know if it's Mana or Mana, but it's like some group that's like old ass 80s, you know, mu- music. It's like, you know, it's like, it's like Selena music. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, okay. I love my life. My life is good. You know? And it's like, yeah, good, <laughs> good vibe. Like, you know, all that type shit. I got uh, like old country groups. I got Dolly Partons and shit, you know, all that type shit. You know, all the weird, like all everything right. that I forget. Like I have, I have Shoreline Mafia shirts. 
you know, and That's just, every, yeah, I can't, I, like, if I just see, I could just do this all day. I got, like, Kermit the Frogs and shit, but, you know, just everything, anything that I think is weird and cool. I'm like, yeah, I like that. So we're going to go what through was it. Kerm- what was Kermit again? What was, what a was that, Miss Piggy? No, 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 Kermit, Piggy, Miss Piggy, like, what was their a group? Pig. What was that? They no. were animals who fucked each other, but they shouldn't No, be no. Yeah. Yeah. They're not Looney Tunes, but what was like their oh, uh, collective uh, uh, club? Muppets. They're Muppets. Muppets. Oh, They're Muppets yeah. Yo. Club, but they fuck. Whoever, whoever owns Muppet, like the Muppet thing, I feel like that's like a, like, like, I don't know. I feel like every generation is good. Like, that's like G.I. Yeah. Joe's. Yeah. I feel like that's like Yeah, that's how I feel. I, that's why I'm saying. I, that's why certain things. Oh, speaking of that, I have like this one shirt that is, uh, you know what Precious Moments is? It sounds familiar. I don't know. Precious moments. Let me pull it up really quick. Precious moments is like what your grandma has on in her house. Watch, I'll show you. I just showed you. Oh, I got a shit. t-shirt with the all these guys on it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have precious moments. These things. <laughs> Oh shit! I you ever remember seen, these. Yeah, oh. they're like the little things your grandma would have in her house, and I got like T-shirts with these guys, and it's like my favorite shirt. <laughs> That's tight. Man, I'm like, so I just get weird ass things that like they're not even reselling. You know, I'm not reselling anything, and just get like the weird shit that I fuck with. Yo, what about blanks? I need, I need vintage blanks. Oh, you bro. know, I always got you. I'm, like, I'm gonna let you know about every blank I, fu- I get. Uh, I, I always uh, bother you about that. Whenever I see them, I'll be like, hey, I should you should have got those whites though that day. Because they were like there was something on them though. Mm-mm, they were white. There was a bunch of remember you don't remember that day I sent you a bunch of them that were white, but then you didn't the message hoodies, me until right? I left. It was the hoodies. Yeah. You didn't message oh, me until yeah. I left. My home. And I told you like, I would go Yo, back the next him. day. Yeah, I told you I would yeah, go back yeah. the next day and I just didn't. Because I go like I do like two different routes. Like one is like you know, that way, and the other was, like, this way, you know? Opposite <laughs> so like, way, yeah. Yeah, either I'm going to go out here, I'm going to go up here to, like, Hollywood and area, or either I'm going to go here to, like, East L.A. areas. But normally I'm going one or the other, and they were gone after a couple of days. But I'm going to let you know, playboy, always. Damn, definitely. Always. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think it's time. I think it's time for the most exciting part of the day. Yes. It's my favorite. Fa- for favorite part of the day, 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 the day, day. Guess, 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 Brian, what I'm about to say. Say, 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 say. On the street, kicks off the street, kicks on niggas' motherfucking feet. Niggas got kicks and I got no feet, but it's kicks on the goddamn motherfucking street. Street, kicks, kicks off the street. Oh my God, you love what you see. I saw a dude, he was walking down the street. He had Jordan ones, twos, and the threes. <laughs> Three stripes Adidas, four stripes Reebok. Oh my God, he got the sneaker game on lock. <laughs> Here we go, it's kicks on the street. <laughs> I can't wait. This is my funnest part of my day ever. All right, because this part of the pod is when we really get to measure what's actually going on in the streets. You know, like what, because re- pe- fuck what people or online saying, I don't wear mids, and are online talking about this and talking about that. Let's get in these motherfucking streets and see what these motherfuckers got on their goddamn feet. Talking about, talking about this, talking about that, talking about Jamal talking, Jamal tried to get on the podcast, talking about Jordan 1's there. Why everybody got them on? That's <laughs> all I see out there, buddy. Talking about, talking about dunks is for chunks. Why all the prettiest girls got on dunks? I don't know. Let's get in these motherfucking streets and see what the hell going on. I'm gonna start it off. I'm gonna hit 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 it. Start it off with the with the motherfucking moms. My mom's out here, or somebody's mom's is out here rocking the golden goose pieces of shit. <laughs> because <laughs> don't get me wrong, I want to make sure I always give context to who's wearing these shoes. You know, because I respect people and I don't take a picture of their face. You know, without their consent or anything. But I will remember <laughs> exactly who the fuck they were. <laughs> who told – this is fashion in L.A. This is something people think is cool. I don't know if you know that. They are what okay. Are what are these? These are Golden Goose. You don't know what Golden oh. Goose – those trash oh, shoes yeah. that they come dirty. And then okay. they just get worse. Yeah, and then you're just like, all right, this sucks. So thanks. That's how, we're, that's how we're starting kicks on the street, Jamal. Yes, because I'm gonna be real about the streets. I'm not here to fake. This is what most people in LA walking around that have money are do are wearing. This woman is has money. 
You know, she's not a poverty person. I mean, not from the looks of it besides her shoes. You know what I'm saying? She was had, I think she had like a Louis Vuitton bag. You know what I'm oh. saying? So she was like a nice looking wealthy person, but you know, that's what they wear. They wear golden goose is popping for some reason. It is moms love it. Every mom. Yeah, what's she wearing? No shows? Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> and the fact that the fact that it's not zipped up is the most ridiculous. Like, I'm like, sleep, your ankle dog. away. Yo. <laughs> We're gonna start with her. Let's let's move right along. The Ultra Boost people. There, are, like, literally, there's not a day in LA that you won't find a woman wearing Ultra Boost with baggy leggings. You see how these are baggy leggings? This is mm -hmm. what you're likely to see on a daily basis because these Ultra Boost people do not give a fuck about you or what you think. They are literally <laughs> wearing the shoe for comfort. Get out of my face. This is the most comfortable shoe I wanted to wear. Shut up. You know, that's the whole. That's I've their, never seen this colorway either. And that's the thing about Ultra Boost people. They don't, it's like they don't even care. They just, you know, they're just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever color you got. I don't care. <laughs> the ones with the, the shit on. Like, you got any outfits for this or anything? No. I'm just going to wear them. You know, that's, I've never seen an Ultra Boost person. Wear, well, I have rarely, but it's very rare that you see an Ultra Boost person dr matching their Ultra Boost with their clothes. Normally they're just like. 2.0s for sure. Outfits yeah, yeah, those sure. are 2.0s. Those are 2.0s. But they've been like dipped or something. No, they're actually new. There's the new ones because they have the back thing there. You see that back heel oh, tap? Yeah, yeah. That's different. No, I'm talking about like the good fits. Like the people with the good fits is like from the 1.0. Oh, the yeah, yeah. That's where you'll find a guy with his laces all high and shit. And he's wearing some skin. You know, you know what he's doing. You know what he's doing. It's like, come on, bro. I don't think you should be wearing an Ultra Boost for fashion. I just don't. I don't think it's, a, you know, I don't, it's just like, yeah, it, it works. But we know why you got those on because they fucking feel great. What are these? These are Air Forces for sure. But these are like retail? This is what they're doing with Air Forces? They're putting like a dunk on top of it? Uh, it's definitely a GR. I don't know what, the, I don't know what, uh, what that is on top of it. You see, it's got a dunk on top of it. Yeah. That's, a, that's um, like a dunk, right? I forgot what that part of the shoe is called, but yeah. Uh, yeah. It's stupid, it, it, though. It, yeah, but also, I want you to know that people love, people like, you were telling me about how awkward it is maybe to get pictures. I've been realizing yeah. that people love when you take a picture of their shoes. Like they're, they're like, they can't wait. This person can't wait to be like, Oh, <laughs> I got you girl. You know, I'm like, Oh yeah. I'm like, wait, can I get a picture of that? And they're like, Oh me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm like, no, nah, your face That's isn't funny. in it. You straight dude. Yeah. Like, so let's move right along. My boy, my boy. I respect oh, these dang. people a lot. I respect these people a lot. This is my boy. Just did it. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> where, where, where is he at right there? Where is that? That's the little Mexican food stand, boy. <laughs> what you mean? Oh, you got you got you got the Diablos tacos from over there? Yeah, that's where you get them good tacos. What you mean, boy? My boy just did it. He just wait. Did what's it. that? I seen it. Taco Taco 1986 or whatever. Oh yeah, vibes. What made you think about that? Oh, what the fuck? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I love tacos 1986. That's the vibe. Yo, um, no, no, no. I was saying you said something about the uh, the Diablo taco. What, oh, yeah, the Vampiro. Vampiro, Vampiro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a Vampiro taco. Oh boy, come on now, Angelino vibe. <laughs> um, so yeah, my boy out here killing. I just love, I love fits like this. I love a comfortable looking guy <laughs> with his Echo sweats and shit. I'm like, let's go. Oh, Yo, where what? do you find Echo at now? Oh, it still uh, Ross. It's at Ross. Well, Wait, what? It's in Ross, but it is Ross is running Echo. Burlington Coat Factory, Ross, Echo to life. <laughs> yeah. Who They're the fuck Echo. still owns them? They're still pr printing out shit. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm pretty yo. sure no one's actually buying, buying it. What are these? I forgot what those. It's like a newer. It's a They're newer. They're like dunk. China. Or actually, that's America. That's what I kept thinking China. And then I kept seeing an American flag and being like, well, it's not China. What is that? I forgot the nickname, but um, yeah, it's like a newer release. You and like who those? wears these? Like, why is he wearing these pants with the, the joggers? Joggers, yeah, like that's no. So good. joggers were done. They are, man. They are. I'm here to. I'm here to assure you that you're correct. So yeah, that's kicks on the street, kicks on motherfuckers' feet right there. Hold on, we ain't done. We ain't even halfway done. My boy out here donking. My boy out here donking these hoes. You know what I'm saying? I love it when Spanish people wear. Anybody, I love it when niggas wear 
fucking Adidas pants with Nikes. I don't know why. It just it, because what are you loyal to? Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're one of these. Like, what is the loyalty? Like, I don't understand it. It's like, oh well, that's the one who raised my family and they gave me. It's like, no, they didn't. They don't love you or care about you at all. Just so you know. <laughs> I'm just letting you. I mean, I don't hate to be the bearer of bad news. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hate nah. to be the bearer of bad news, but the truth is, everybody's like, well, I'm just a night. I'm just a do this guy or something. It's like. They don't even give a fuck. You, do you think they know? Do you think they give a fuck? Well, I'm just being real. Like, they don't, they don't even care. Like, I hate, I hate to break that to anyone, you know? That's, my, boy, that's, my boy Cozy, though. He Cozy. Yeah, that's my saddest thing to tell people, though, is that, man, they don't even know you or care. You know? Just so you know. So I fuck with him because he's like, yeah, because he's like, I'm going to wear what I want to wear. These brands don't know me or care. So I'm cool with you. I fuck with you, boy. Now, this person... This person was a beautiful woman. This person was like a 10. She was like a beautiful woman. And I was going to take a picture. I was like, hey, just so you know, I'm going to take a picture of your shoes. You know, I don't want you to think I'm creepy because you're obviously a beautiful woman. And she was like, no, nope, let me turn around on the escalator. <laughs> you know, look, just kidding. Look. And I was like, yeah, okay. And then, and then I was just like, okay, bye. You look good. <laughs> you know? Wait, wait, wait. Were you guys going down the escalator or going up, up the escalator? Up. We're going oh, up she turned around on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she, so I was like, hey, I'm just gonna take a quick picture of your shoes, and she was like, oh, for real, you want my shoes? Let me here, and I was like, thanks. I dear. Fell off that bitch. <laughs> yeah, and she was, and like I said, she was like hard to talk to. I was like, um, just uh, and then we had to continue riding up the elevator at, at you know escalator after we did this. So oh, you didn't continue like, the conversation until y'all like split. Uh, I was kind of just like, yeah, do podcast, good podcast. Okay, new best you buy, bye. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, it's a good thing. It's good, great, see ya. I always, because that's the thing, dude. I, I'm always, I don't got time. Like, I don't got, I'm not harassing this woman or anything. You know, I'm just like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's three <laughs> words. Like, people always get that vibe for me where I'm like trying to end the conversation. I'm not trying to bring you in and chat about something. I'm trying to be like, let me get a picture. I'll get, I'm going to I'm leave you right alone. I'm, I'm out. I'm walking away. I'm not even, you know, I'm not even. I'm not going to lie. I got that vibe from you the, the, day, the day I met you at that party. Yo. Like, <laughs> we're like, we're all having a conversation. You're like, all right. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's tough, though. It's tough to, like, expect anything from anybody. You know, I'm like, that was a great sentence we just had. Let me not push it. You know, like, it took us years to start this podcast for the same reason, because I'm yeah. like, yeah, but let me not push it. You know, like, only reason I wanted to do a podcast was because we just kept talking about shoes and we kept liking it. And I was like, okay, I fuck with this guy. You know, like, it's, it's, it's the last test of time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that's cool. But yeah, the same way with this, but I was just like, uh, let me get the fuck out of here. I couldn't get around her. I was like, uh, okay, bye. You know, moving right along. Kicks on the street, kicks on motherfuckers' feet. Kicks on the street, kicks on motherfuckers' feet. He one of those. Good question. Chanel vintage. No, those uh, those are Chanel's. Wait, are they girl, are they Chanel Chanel Crocs or are those Chanel no. shoes? Like those are shoes. She's just squishing them with her heels because that's what she's an Asian person. They do that sometimes. She she, white lady. people do it as well. It's a white it's a white person thing. I would say too. She and it's like uh, that's an expensive yeah. shoe. Yeah, to just be smushing all up on your walk into Target any given day. It's like ugh, ugh. I don't know what these shoes are, which is why I took a picture of them. They're Nikes, but like with a big old bubble, you know, I'm like, what the fuck is this? I've never I'm seen gonna... these, bro. I'm like, let me get a picture of this guy's shoes. That's fire. I mean, you know, whatever. They look you comfortable, though. A lot of heel yeah. support. <laughs> My boy got that boost going. That's Nike boost. And these. <laughs> it's funny because I always see like expensive shoes on the bus. I don't you notice know I'm riding are... the bus here. I don't know if these are real, sir. I don't think so either. Honestly, the way that they were kind of smushing, you know, they weren't falling right. They, were, they weren't even falling like Chuck Taylor's. They were just like kind of falling apart. Not like, even that, yeah. but look at the stripes on the bottom. They're like going left, right. Yeah, they're not even going <laughs> the right ways. Yeah, you damn right, bro. That bitch, that bitch is just going straight up and down right there. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, poor guy, man. So I felt really bad about that. So I just didn't, I tried to just get his little. Now, these people right here, He's a tight. People who have Simpsons collab vans are literally the most proud people I've ever seen of their shoes. 
Like these, These I've met like maybe three people that all have Simpsons collab vans. And every time they're like, yeah, I had to fucking wait in line and fucking kill people for them. And I love them and I wear them every day. And I'm the, and I'm like, yes, because you got to realize, bro, the Simpsons is like the same thing as vans. You know what I'm saying? Like they are as they are like that institute, you know what I'm saying? Institutionalized in the world. So it's like, yeah, it's like, it's just hard. like I said. I just want to give props to everybody who has bands, uh, bands Simpsons collab bands because like these people are real sneakerheads to me. Like these people are real people who found something they like, got all of them, and said we don't give a fuck if the value's up down. We don't give a fuck. They're our shoes. We wanted to wear them. You know what I'm saying? I really respect yeah. that so hard. Yeah, I, I like these a lot, bro. Like I, I'm not a fan of Argyle, but I get it because like <clears throat> from the the bar. But mm-hmm. um, love that 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 purple that light purple in the uh, inside of the shoe like yeah this is a good looking shoe when when was this this was the most recent one right oh uh, yeah i want to say it was last year yo these are these are dope these are dope yeah and this everybody is a chick or a dude a young lady yeah and everybody who wears these are just so proud of them and i'm like fuck i just it inspires me i'm like yes be pr- yeah fuck fuck travis scott like where are them fucking fucking bands fucking simpsons collabs baby i believe in you i forget what shoe this was i can't really see it that well either it looks like a ewing yeah okay maybe i'm lying i might be lying no no that's like a it's like a what's that shoe called with like the swooshiness that's not a foam damn i forget anybody in the comments want to let me know what shoe this is i appreciate it (laughs) i really do appreciate it this guy right here got mad. I took a picture, and he was like, what the fuck you taking pictures of, man? And I was like, hey, man. And I pulled out my phone, I showed him a picture. I was like, I just took a picture of your shoes. He was like, oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I didn't. I was like, dude, your face is not even in the picture. And he was like, oh, okay, cool deal, man. <laughs> and I was like, nice shoes. He was like, yeah, thanks. So, so basically what you were saying is make sure you just like, you know, as, let well, know. as long as you stay true to the game, like, because the thing is I have a, a, pic, a picture, a phone full of pic, people's shoes. You know what I'm saying? So now if somebody goes, Hey, what are you taking a picture? I'm like, dude, I'm take pictures of people's shoes. Look, this is full of people's shoes. Like, so leave me yeah, alone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, Oh, he's taking pictures of skirts or something I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just sneakers guys, just your sneakers. And like I said, most, most people are proud to have to, to, for some reason for people to take pictures of sneakers, even if they don't, even if they don't have the best sneakers, you know, they, people are still like, you know what I mean? They're still like, well, that's cool. So I'm into it. I'm into it. Next. Now this is my boy. Can you guess what this man's wearing with these, with these Air Maxes? The Air Max 720. It's one of those new ones. Fucking 270. Yeah, but can you see what he's wearing? My man's got on a full suit. Oh, he's cozy. My man's got on a full suit. He's my boy, dude. This is one of the first people I ever met in L.A. And you know what he is? He's the guy who stands by the train and says, hey, you looking for a good job? Hey, you looking for a good job? Hey, man, you looking for a good job? That's my boy. If anybody comes to L.A. and some guy asks you if you're looking for a good job, that's my boy. I love this guy. Wait, (laughs) is it a good good job? No, no. I mean – it's like it's hiring? like some little it's like a trade school basically. He's like sign you he'll sign you up for a trade school so you can get a trade and then do a job. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's just like a pitch be like, "Hey, you want all right, we'll give you we got a scholarship, you can go to this school and get a trade, you know?" So he's like a recruiter. And he has like a car around the corner where he'll just put you in the car and take you to the school, <laughs> you know, like whoever he finds. He's like, "All right, come on. Come on, let's go. You looking for a good job? Looking for a good job?" So my boy stands out here comfortable on his feet. And I just wanted to shout him out. I should have got his face in here. I'm going I'm to take a picture of this whole guy next time because he's my boy. I fuck with this guy. Like I said, like, I remember, like, everything I've ever gone through in L.A., I'll end up, end up you know, near, like, 7th and Metro, and I'll see this guy again and be like, oh, how you doing, man? <laughs> you know, like, I just I lost another girlfriend, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but this guy's still here. He's my boy. So I fuck with this guy. Shouts to this guy. I do not know his name. <laughs> his name is just the guy. I, I call him, you want a good job. Like, every time I got my headphones in, I see him before he sees me. I'm just like, hey, man, you looking for a good job? He's like, nah, you looking for a good job. <laughs> and then we're just like, yeah, <laughs> looking for a good job. So, shots to this guy. Kicks in the street. That's, kicks on Nick's feet. That's funny. <laughs> uh, I love this. I just love – this is just a young father out here with the, with the, with the uh, classic mids. I'm like, yeah, let's go. 
turned up on these hoes. I just love, I just, like I said, I just love people's personal styles. You know, I love when I see somebody doing something that's cool. You know, it's not just for, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? It's not just for everybody else. It's really just cool. I, lo I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, this guy, I think I took two pictures. You see what this is? Oh, what are those? Are those babe uh, boosts? It looks like, no, they're not bait though. They're just the camo boost. And it looks no, like. No, that's an ape right there. That is an ape right there, right there. Yeah, that's an yeah, ape. Right. You're right. They're, so they're bait. got on the but he cut off the uh, uh, the laces. I've done this before. They feel exactly the same when you do this. <laughs> so it's just weird that he did. You know, he was just trying to be a. That's an expensive shoe. Wow. That's crazy. He did that. Yeah, he cut. You know, you can. Have you seen Uncaged? Have you heard about that? The whole Uncaged yeah, yeah. Ultra Boost yeah. movement of two years ago? Yeah. I'm not going to dig into that. But my boy Uncaged the goddamn Ultra Boost. Next, I like, I, like to, I like to go into, like, nice kicks downtown and just see what the fuck going on. My boys say they got everything in stock. I'm like, everything? He's like, everything. Yeah, I think so, I might cop those quantums, man. Those are ball kicks, ones? right? One, two, or three. Uh, maybe the, 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 the two and three. Okay. How does a blue one look in person? Uh, like I'm not sneeze. ready for no quantums until they make darker colors. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, bless you. Either Thank darker you. colors or, or, like, more solid color colors. I'm not really into the white quantum. Like, I don't want the white on my quantum. I want it to be darker. You know, like, even a, a blue or red or green or just different colors would be cool, but the white doesn't really. It's not the, it's not the shoe, the white, for me. For me. For me. I respect, respect them nonetheless, but also more nice kicks in. Yo, we, we a little staticky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give it a second. How about now? Oh, Let me pretend I'm out. touching something. Let me pretend I'm clicking something. How about now? How about now? Yeah. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're back in the game. All right. Uh, basically, you know, just going through what they got. Everything. Everything. Uh, there's hella Ultra Boost. Hella 4Ds up in everywhere. Got some rafts. And then look what the boy, look what my boy working wearing, though. If you notice, they always got on some shit they ain't got while they I mean, working. You, you, you got to stunt. You, that's how you got to do it. Yeah, I'm like, hey, every time I walk in, I'm like, where are those? And they're like, we don't got these. Got these. And I just turn around and walk out. I'm like, all right. What are those, though? Are those pink? Yeah, I think so. No. See, now you just you, – I wasn't questioning it until you just said that. I don't think they're pink, though. I think they're just – they were just white and, white and black. Those and, look like, cool, tan, man. Like, yeah, they're nice. I think so. Uh, these are the premieres. They have these? They have these in store. Because I was about to mm -hmm. buy them and resell. No, All they right, have them. Less. You know where it's at? Say downtown less. 9th and Main. I'm going to go cop. I'm copping. I want to cop these. These McDonald's. What's the retail on those? What was two? Uh, No, like 160. One, I want to say like 160. Wow. And then this is the this is the New Balance wall. No five fifty. Every day I come in, I say, "Hey man, you guys gonna get some five fifties?" Like, ah, they're like, "That's a collab or something." I'm like, you guys, you guys have collabs here. That's a BBC collab right there. Why don't you just go get the ALD collab? And they're like, "Well, we don't really run." Okay, well then you should have said that the first time. Who orders the shoes? Can I talk to that person? Yeah, those nine nine ones though are nice, right there. Those gray ones. To the left. Where the closest ones to us? Yeah, those are nice. Right under the black ones. I like those. I'm not mad at Jaden's shoes. Everybody's so mad at Jaden Smith's shoes. I think Jaden Smith's shoes are better than this bottom two rows. Like, whatever yeah. these are, I think these are better. These top two, these Jaden Smith's shoes. Just personal opinion. I'm like, I don't understand why everybody hates Jaden Smith's shoes. They, they're not bad. They just aren't. You know, there's no argument for them to be bad, except for when people say, oh, Jaden Smith made them. These are bad. Why no, I'm not hating on Jaden Smith, but I can think of like ten other New Balances that I would want before. Yeah, like yeah, like they have they have two full rows of this. Oh, yeah, we staticky. Hold on. No, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want to be able to I'm clip saying, this. Why shit. do we have two full rows of 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 those? What are those called on the bottom? The shoes nobody should be buying. Uh, what are they like three? I don't know. Three fifty. Like yeah, I want to say it's three fifty. Yeah, it's trash. No, no, they're two two seventy. I don't know. I'm lying to you guys. I don't know. Get out of here. I'm over this. Like that's. I mean, isn't that disgusting though? Like, would you ever buy those shoes? 
No, I think they look really good on women, though. They look really good on little feet. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. But yeah, I'd prefer them bad. to just wear waffles. <laughs> yeah. This is right outside of uh, Nice Kicks. Nice hype beast out here. ACW. That boy got the, a cold wall sweater. That's a probably expensive sweater. Yeah. It is, is that what that is? Nice. It, it doesn't look nice. Like, I don't, I don't care how much it costs. I'm, I'm, I took a picture of him to make fun of him. Oh, okay. It doesn't look nice. Does he look nice? He looks, he looks comfortable. He looks really comfortable. Yeah, he looked comfortable, but would you fuck him? <laughs> exactly. Uh, Moving right along. Damn, this pissed me off because I forgot what the fuck this shoe was. And I only got that one picture. So I don't remember what the fuck I was looking at. That's so, I wish I could tell. You want to see it? Yeah, let's check it out. I forgot what it was. I think it was like a, um, a, um, like an expensive, like a, uh, it was like a shiny shoe, like a, a Margella or something, you know, like a, one of those like high end shoes, but like really glittery, like a Dolce or some shit. It was just like a nice, little, nice little, and I just wanted to clown people for wearing, uh, this whole outfit, like all this bland ass colors and then some little sparkly. Wait, shoes. this is a dude? I don't think so. But now oh. you, you just made me question it when you said that too. I was like, uh, no, that was a young lady. I thought yeah, it was a young lady. Let's, but get now the, that you... let's get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Please. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's just some father and son vibes. I liked it. You know, this is the, this is the city we live in. So I just like to show some father and son vibes. This is what women wear in fucking uh, Whole Foods. What are these He's called? It's like a, it's definitely a, it's a Converse, but it's a, fuck, I, it's, it's not a Margiela, it's a. Is it a Raph? I think it's a Raph. It's a, it's a collab, but I, I, I always see them, but I just don't know the name. I'm not going to lie to you. It's guys. trash. Sorry. I hate these. Girls love these. That's why I've they, never. They're digging them. The girls are digging I've never, them. I've never looked in because I don't, I don't like them at all, but I, I hear you. I'm not mad at them. I see them Let's see what we got next. This is what's on the wires. That's some Pumers. Converse. Those are those are those are Pumas. Yeah, on the left there, I had to look closely for a while. Don't try to convince me fuck? otherwise, because I, I it took me a long time to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> it took me like you know, it took me a long time to be sure. <laughs> now that I'm kind of sure, please don't don't kill me. Um, these were cute. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's like, what you doing? Mm -mm. The hell you doing with some eleven lows, huh? Bro, what's up with that fucking pearlized fucking leather? That shit is no. <laughs> this is considered fresh, you animals. <laughs> I hate I hate this, but this is considered fresh, bro. Oh my god. This is considered and this is it. yeah, this is considered everyday wear. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna yeah, I don't I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I do not want to rush your reaction. I want to make sure let's get it all out. Let's get it all out first. I don't wanna I don't wanna rush anything. No, no, no. It's honestly Nothing. I mean, just like what you next is. Yeah, so you're like, I do not want to keep looking at this. Yeah, exactly. I didn't want to either, but I just didn't want to rush it. Like I said, I want to make sure you got your whole shit out. Uh, this is literally every... This is every um, everyday wear. This is what everybody has every day. Like I said, everybody with a job has these at this point. And like I said, Adidas literally... literally like Adidas literally made me leave because they would not give me this shoe. Yet now every person I ever see at T-Mobile working is wearing this shoe. So, for sure, that's life, man. Fuck Gabby. Anyway, <laughs> we got uh, we got uh, my boy wearing these sun drops with this young lady out here. <laughs> what are those called? The Wait, sun. What is he wearing? Yeezys. Yo, those shit look crazy wild. All those, right, those that's. Look I've never seen him on foot. So yeah, they don't look cool, but that's because he doesn't look cool. Like, that's why I took a picture of so much of his body so that you could see my boy's a little bit swaggerless. But that's the point. That's what, that's what I'm trying to tell you is that Yeezy is literally being worn by everyday people. It's not being worn by, oh, we need some hype sneakers. And, you know, we need to get this new sneaker, new sneaker thing. No, people are paying $200 to wear, to not dress well. You know what I'm saying? They're, they don't, like, he's on that level. You know what I'm saying? So that is to be highly respected. Because so, so, like, so is Yeezy's falling in that category of like Ultra Boost then, kind of? Like they're yeah. on like the, yeah. oh wow. Yeezy's are kind of the new Ultra Boost. Like, you know, the people who used to wear Ultra Boost, 
are wearing Yeezys more, you know? Moving right along. This is my boy out here trapping. I noticed he has some forces and some uh, 11s. Right, 11s. Yeah. And I was just like, hey, I see you. I see you, buddy. You see he got some uh, some Cocos and shit. I don't know what he's doing with them. I didn't even want to ask him. I'm sure he's just reselling them or something. What's up, man? That's cool. Now, what is this? Do you see this shoe? I thought that was a Kermit at first when you first showed me this. <clears throat> it's called Rucci. Not Gucci. Rucci. It's spelled the same font and everything. I'm I was very confused. And I was like, uh, I do not know what the fuck is going on. What the fuck is Rucci? How did they get a collab with Adidas? Maybe I should look this up really quickly. Hold on. Let's see. Rucci Adidas. Oh, it's Fio Rucci. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm, okay. So this is the part of the. Oh, I see you now, Fio Rucci. Rucci. So basically, yeah, there are people who had a, a collab, <coughs> but they're not a huge like brand. UK, UK vibes. I feel like. Yeah, pop culture powerhouse. Yeah, or it's kind of American. Yeah, we don't know about them, basically. You know, they weren't for us, I guess, necessarily, but I was like, what's up, Rucci? I don't know what the fuck Rucci going on, but I see you. These are fire. These are dope. Really this dope. is just what a lot of people, you know, I, I respect this person. This is a young lady. You should have asked them what the fuck model this is. I hate when I do that. Like, I'll see someone with, like, a dope-ass, like, silhouette or model or whatever, and I'm like, yo, like, what? Like, I'm too far to ask, and it's like, but I'm, like, going crazy. Like, I want to ask. I don't know. Yeah, I think this person, I was like, nice shoe. Can I see your – actually, you know what? This person was literally sitting down playing on their phone, right? Like, and we were in, like, a mall. This and is a chick, she was too, right? Down pl playing on her, yeah, she was playing on her phone. And then I was like, hey, can I see your shoe? You know, can I take a picture of your shoe? And then she just kind of extended her foot so I could take a picture. And, like, on, she was already in her phone, so. How do you feel about people when they do that to their jeans? I do that to a few of my jeans. I don't care. I like, I, I, I like this. I like that. Yeah, I like it. Like, why, like, why do you need a cuff? Like, exactly, exactly. I wear a lot of <laughs> high water jeans and shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. A lot of the bitch go around my belly. You know what I'm saying? This is my boy out here. He think he killing it. He think he killing it right now. <laughs> boy, my boy was out here confident. <laughs> so just Godspeed towards you, my friend. <laughs> what, 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 uh, what, what did he, um, what did he cop? Did you ask him? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't interested in chatting with him because I wasn't gonna say anything nice. So I didn't really have anything nice, anything to say. That's you good. Know, was, That's good. I saw this OG right after him. That's like an OG. <coughs> one of the, uh, waffles. I was like, okay. I see you. This is the young lady that works at the Foot Locker where he bought the shit. And I was like, so y'all selling shattered backboards? She's like, no. And I was like, I know. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm like, what are y'all selling? You know, whack ass Air Maxes, GRs. You know, I was like, okay, see you later. <laughs> She's a cute lady, though. Uh, this person, I took a picture of this person because, you know what? Guess why I took a picture of this person? Wait, why? Because it was 95 degrees. <laughs> you know, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm literally wearing a T-shirt, like, dripping, dripping sweat. This person's like, I must, I must fashion into my leather jackets. I have to fashion. I was just like, you are a problem. Yo, you're an asshole, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you got a real fucking problem. You put on your dunks and shit. You, you swear you out here fashioning. Niggas is cold as hell. This young lady, she has, she has some cakes, she has some satins on. I, did, I was trying not to get her booty. I didn't want nobody's booty. She was just far away. But then I was like, who has satins? Nobody. You know anybody who owns satins? No, I don't know nobody. Let's zoom in as to protect this woman's booty cheeks. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't understand who the fuck is rocking satins. It don't make no doubt damn. I don't understand. Like I said, this comes back to what I was talking to you about before. Like, if you put these on, it doesn't matter how rare they are. It doesn't matter that you're wearing the rarest satins. There will be somebody wearing the same shoes right next, right after you. You know, there's going to be another guy. Not that person. I'm sorry. But I thought it was, oh. though. 
this is an, this is another part of my Yeezy talk where I'm just saying, like I said, it's moms, it's regular people. You get what I'm saying? It's not even, it's not fucking. She's cool. it's no, yeah, it's no She's fashion cool. people though. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, I'm just a regular ass person. I just wanted some Yeezys because them bitches comfortable as fuck. And that, and here he is selling a lot of shoes just like because of that, because he is creating like a silhouette style. You know that is. <laughs> It's like, oh, if I want to wear old school shoes, I might wear my shell toes or I might wear my Jordan 1s. But what if you want to wear a new school shoe? There's very little choices, you know? Yeezys are the kind of, the, you know, very high in the choices. You get what I'm saying? So, wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. So, so <clears throat> I feel like maybe, like, out here in L.A., like, like older people or moms or whatever, just people are, are that are older don't mind, tr like, trying to – not keep up with the like younger but my mom would say for this shoe like if i was like hey mom like you want these shoes like she'd be like i'm I, it looks like that i'm trying to be young mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what's the what's the the disconnect like what's the like well from, the like, thing about la is that um la is first off the most segregated city in the world and what i mean by that is that people communities do not have to interact with each other here this is the number one place where communities do not merge very easily by choice you know if they're like hey, hey if you like this one shoe go to this one street you know and hang out here on this one place place if you like this one thing you do this thing you know it's very segregationalized here so i feel like sometimes like basically i feel like this woman just went to the store and just tried on five shoes and this was just her favorite one basically because mm -hmm. and what i mean is that i don't think that she I don't think that she was walking through the mall and saw some cool kids wearing them. You know, I don't think that she has any reference to that. I think she's just kind of like, well, I like these and they feel great, you know? And, the, and she's just like, well, I like, you know, like, uh, because like I said, this city is very much where you don't have to know about other things. You know, you don't have to indulge in, you know, you don't, she doesn't have to go to, she, you know, there's no, like, you know what I'm saying? Like all the schools are one race here. You know what I'm saying? Not even two races. Like, every school is, like, completely black, black, completely Mexican, completely white. Like, they don't fuck around. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. Of course, there's one kid in each school of a different race. But I just mean, you know, it's very segregationalized here. So something tells me that she just happened to walk into nice kicks. You know? And it just was like, well, I choose these because I already have a pair of, you know, she probably has a pair of Stan Smith type shoes, you know, at home or whatever. And she's like, well, I can't buy 100 Chuck Taylors and Stan Smiths. And yeah. Nikes have a big ugly swoosh like Nikes it looks like I'm advertising Nike you get what I'm saying whereas this shoe it just looks like she wants to wear a blue shirt you know what I'm saying and she's like what's the best shirt what's the most best shoes I can find for my blue shirt Ooh, these are cute these are cute and they feel great you know that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking I don't think this person I'm not 100% sure she even knows Kanye made these shoes you know what I'm saying something tells me she's yeah. kind of just like uh, what are these? These are nice. Why do you, like, you know, you walk into nice cakes and you see five of them in a row, you know how, how they were displayed? And she's like, yeah, ooh, yeah. these are cool. I don't want the high ones. Let me get these lower ones. You know, and then she just kind of is like, let me try these on. And, and that's because that's the thing about Boost. Boost sells itself. You know what I'm saying? Like, Boost sell. like, when you put it on, you want to keep wearing it. That's, that's like that's the main true. Adidas has for them. Yeah, like, is that when you, you can say, oh, I hate how these shoes look. I hate this or that. But try putting it on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As soon as you put it on, you'll be like, oh. oh yeah, I need these. <laughs> oh, I need yeah. These. So I'm sure that somebody was just – and even a good salesperson was just like, hey, ma'am, you want to try these on? Because I, I guarantee these are the most comfortable ones. You know, she might be like, I'm going to walk around downtown. What's my most comfortable shoes you guys got? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Literally. And that's a good thing. If somebody walks up to you and asks you, hey, I'm going to go walk around downtown. What's the most comfortable shoe I should buy to do that? What, do you, what, what direction do you point them? Polka. Out? Hoka. Oh, Hoka. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Yo, I haven't put, I haven't took them shits off. Yo. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I don't oh, give God. a fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That, well, exactly. I would say a Hoka or a Yeezy or an Ultra Boost. I would probably say Ultra Boost first. Like out of any, out of if anybody says, "Yo, I want to shoot strictly for comfort," I'm gonna say Ultra Boost first, and I would say Hoka next. But the only reason I don't say Hoka first is because is because the boost you 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 sink into it. You know the boost mm -hmm. is like like it's like a couch. You know you'd be like oh yeah, but like the yeah, Hoka yeah, yeah. it's like 
it's like wearing a nice t-shirt it's like ooh, it's so light and free it's like you know it's like nothing's even yeah. it's like so good but it's not a couch like the couch is a literal massage you know you you just oh, oh i'm good you know he could just fall into the couch so you get i'm i'm, yeah, I'm okay I'm, with both ways yeah facts but all right so wait let me say this though so she may not know kanye west but she knows kim kardashian and that, i feel like that opened up like a gate of you know for, for kanye you know what i mean because or or what is it what's the other sister's name i'm sorry uh they all of them right <laughs> i don't know all the sisters names like they all like wear yeezy everyone wears yeezys even like the fucking sisters exes wear yeezy so it's like if you don't know kanye directly you know him through like the family members you know what i mean so shout out to kim because like that's why he's killing it i feel like too i mean yeah. great design we love him right our culture loves him but like uh, there's a whole other That's side what I'm to trying it. Trying to say, my boy is become he he is not worried about Nike. He's worried about Levi's. You get what I'm saying? Like he is not thinking about Nike. He's thinking about Levi's. Like you get what I mean? He's not worried. He's not saying, oh, how can I compete with these sneakers brands? He's like, how can I make something? that people can't take off like a jean jacket you know what i'm saying like you gotta that's what my boy's thinking about so i'm like he's not even thinking about sneakers you know so i'm like i fuck with you mr yeezy let's keep it yeah, moving oh this is a little cute couple these people these guys right here were so happy to take this picture i fuck with them they were like i was like hey do podcast podcast they're like what's the podcast called yeah let me see it. is that a good one yeah that's sick you know, and I was like, thanks, guys. Thank you so much for the That's picture. And they were like, just so you, I, these are Travis's. I'm like, yep, yep. And those are Griffey's. Yep, we, I got you. Thank you, guys. You know, we see you guys. They were so happy. This is, this is like you and your girlfriend walking around downtown. I can see you out here looking at you. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, honey, we got we to gotta kill him today. All right, baby. What's where I start so nice? So, yeah, that's a compliment, just so you know. Um. But yeah, there was they were they were swaggy too. They were you know you can tell they were wearing cool clothes. I forget what they were wearing, but you know. I wish I had some fucking Travis's shit. I wish I had some Griffies. While you bullshitting, fuck those. Didn't you see them? You didn't see them at the the store. They're not around. I don't want. I mean, I don't want to buy them. I'm just saying it'd be not like I want them to. I want to have them, you know. But really, really, I want Rodman's. Like whenever I think of that swoosh right there, I'm like, no, give me the Rodman's, you know. Like give me those Rodman's. Robins are too classic, but uh, so moving right along. Are you are back. you talking about the worms? Or are you talking about like which ones what are you, you talking mean? about? Rodman. The yeah, for Robins. I don't know. Let's see. Cause there's a couple Robins I remember back in the day. Just the ones with the with the big old swoosh on the front like that. Yeah, like these. Oh, the worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Indestruct. Yeah, worm. Yeah, you're totally right. I didn't know that. It was called the worm, but yeah, those are fire. So it's like I don't want no Griffies. I want Rodman's. Those right. come out hey. random, huh? Oh my so, bad. Yeah, yeah the Rodman's. They totally do. They totally do come out very random. But as soon as they come out again, I, I want them. And really, look, I could buy them for 150 bucks on fucking StockX. It's not really a big deal. Man, yeah, I hope Rodman sure. doesn't die. I don't know why I just got that thought, but I hope Rodman doesn't die. I know that sounds weird, but. Niggas be dying, man. It's so random out here. Mm -hmm. Just you never know who's next. So I fuck with Rodman. I just want to say that while he's in good health. All right. Guess who this is? Uh, dude. That's me. That's me, baby. That's me all summer. <laughs> Your boy oh, okay. Slayer about to wear straight boots and socks. I mean boots and shorts all summer. Fuck you, sneaker ass hoes. We out here. Boots and boots and socks, oh. Why you bullshit? And that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Boots and socks. Say less. <laughs> vibes. Vibes, boy. I love this guy. Guess who this was? Uh, this was a chick. Now, do you think this was like... <laughs> I don't know. A cool, stylish girl? Like a pretty girl? Or like a... You know, I can like tell less. by the sweatpants. I can tell by the sweatpants. It, it was a cool girl. And then the dunks. Yeah. Those dunks are nice. Yeah, this was a 10. This girl was beautiful. Like, she was just way too pretty for me to make fun. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. There's a thing driving by. She just way so – she was so – I really wanted to make fun of how tightly her shoes are laced, but I mm -hmm. couldn't because she was just literally a 10, and she kept looking at me in my face. And I was just like, don't look at me. I want to I – I, I have jokes for you. 
<laughs> you know, I was like, I was like, I wanted to say, Hey, those are nice sneakers, but can you feel your ankles? You know? <laughs> and then she, I didn't say that, <laughs> but you know, I had it ready to go. I like had it ready. I was like, yeah, I'm about to kill. It. And then I like, she like looked at me in my face and I was like, Oh, Oh, I'm nervous. Let me. I'm just. Nice. I just be taking pictures of shoes. by. I like to take pictures. Click. Get the fuck out of here. I was just like, oh, that's that's nice. Okay, bye. What's what's up with people wearing ankle socks, bro? Or not even ankle socks. No. Ankle shows. socks what's are in right now. Yep. Dude. I'm about to go buy some ankle socks because it literally makes you look like like a weirdo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I really respect it because I feel weird as fuck. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I feel like a person. Like a day, I feel like I'm tucking and touching in my shirt when I'm wearing ankle socks. You get what I'm saying? Like I feel like uh, yeah. the type of guy. So I'm like, that's funny. I'll do it. Like it's, I tuck in my shirt sometimes for the same reason because it's like funny. You know, I'm like, well, let's do this. Like, you know, let's embrace my court, my cheesy ways, or like, you know, like I will wear ankle socks with like, air dirty Air Forces or something, and just be like, what, what you gonna do about it? Like, you know, like that's the point. Is like, I'm, I'm no, a, like, like, you know, what I'm saying it's like a dad aesthetic. Uniqlo, holla at me. <laughs> this nick right here <laughs> if we could get through one episode without this man shouting out uni club then maybe we'll yo, make it we need some short socks yo <laughs> this guy's out like my boy right here <laughs> he was killing it he was killing it <laughs> who the hell told him you see, how, you see how he tried to hide his sock when i took the picture I was like, hey, bro, let me yeah. take a quick picture of your, your shoes. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah. He started curling his foot all up. I was like, yeah, I yeah. see that sock, boy. I see you yeah, out eyes here. Eyes Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we see you out here play boy. We see you play boy. But he had a cute dog. <laughs> he was just walking his dog. But, yeah, this is the vibes. These are summer vibes. Post sneakers, just so you know, post sneakers. Yeah, no, I just took a picture of this, guys, because that was the colorway that's not out right now. I was like, that's nice. Moving right along. Moving right along. Remember when I sent you this? Because I sent all yeah. those pictures, like all, you see how this is the longest kicks on the street we've ever done, I would say, right? So long. Yeah. So I sent all these pictures in like one day. And then I'm on my way home and I see these guys. Like I'm on my way home and I see all the rest of these pictures I take. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like these niggas, I'm just walking down the street. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Like, hey. like I stopped them. I was like, hey, hey, hey. What the fuck? Yeah. The yo, fuck? yo, wait, wait. We staticky. I want to I clip this. We staticky. Yeah, I stopped these guys and I was like, hey, hey, what the fuck you got on? He was like, this motherfucker. I was like, trophy rooms. I know what trophy rooms are. You fucking animal. Off-white guy was mad. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even talk to him really, but I was just like, you know, let me get a picture of y'all shoes, you animal. What the fuck your problem is with them? What are those pants? Amiri's? What kind of fucking pants are these, man? I think I think this is really irresponsible knowing that these shoes are $3,000. Like, I'm sorry. Um, what, you yeah. think it's irresponsible to wear them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is motherfucker, motherfucker, you just got me on the next rant. You just remind you know what we've both been sending videos about all week. Yeah. Let's get into that. Hold on. Let me let me let me, let me end this click kicks on the street. I got three more. I got three more, but we're gonna get right into that. Into that. Okay. I don't wanna I don't want we got like three more really quickly. Last night. These that's a dude. He was just killing it. I just really liked his post sneakers look. Fuck sneakers. That's what's up. That's, that's what's and up. And then this guy. This guy's in fucking Ralph's. I almost robbed him. He, notice he got the ankle socks on too, though. It's the vibes, bro. Dude, that's crazy. The vibes. <laughs> Boy, it's rocking the... These are like five grand, right? A lot. Yeah, these are up there. These are up there, yeah. Yeah, a lot. My boy rocking trout. I was like, yeah, yeah, hold up, hold up. Get the fuck over here, man. <laughs> you know, Dude, some people, socks, when, when you're wearing shit like this, I'm just like, hey, hey, hey. You know, what, you know why the fuck I'm talking to you. Get the fuck over here. <laughs> we told you to spend ten thousand dollars for damn shit, you know. So I, run, so I run up and bother him. Moving right along, then the boy outside sleepy. My boy was sleepy outside. You know, I, I love to make sure to get what the homeless people are wearing. They always got some kicks on. Oh my god. Yo, they out here, bro. They out That's here. That's just what I want. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about earlier. My man has some fives, but really, I took this picture for the gazelles. I was yeah, like, was my nice. boy, them gazelles is clean as a whistle. Yeah, those are nice. Y'all out here buying resales of shoes. You need to get on those. Right there. Yeah, and they green. Yeah, exactly. They money green. Uh, so that is it. That's been this week's kicks on the street, kicks on motherfuckers' feet. Niggas got kicks on their feet in the street. Everybody wearing kicks. Who they gonna see? Who you gonna see? Trying to see me? You can't see me. I got kicks on my feet, but you got kicks on your feet. And we're both in the street, and we're both living our lives. And everybody loves everybody. And Joe Biden's not doing a good job.
<laughs> there you go. I'm finished. <laughs> That's my kicks on the street song for today. Uh, okay. Now, let's get right into it. Hold on. I have to pause. I okay. I just paused the recording. And I almost got up to do something, and then I almost, and then I realized that I do not live for clout. You get what I'm saying? I almost went and got my one of my nicest pairs of shoes just to put dirt on it on camera and show you guys that I don't give a fuck. But also, like I said, I will not do that because that is just a clout move. You get what I'm saying? I'm not here for just for some fucking clout. You know, I'm not the guy who did it when they did. Remember when Homeboy dipped the shoes in the red paint and everybody was like, "Oh, you're, you're ruining it." I was like, "No, just it's just a pair of shoes, you idiot." So, yeah. that's my point. Next clip, hashtag W-Y-F-S. What do you think about the hashtag W-Y-F-S? What does that mean? What the, what fuck, the does that? fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Wear your fucking shoes. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh uh, well, I just heard my boy say he wouldn't wear you wouldn't wear no trophy rooms if you had them, would you? Oh, 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 oh okay, I see what you're oh, saying. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Where we, you see where <laughs> I'm going with this? I'm, I'm I'm leading you into a corner so that you may fall in that corner and be hurt. All right, all right, for sure. <laughs> um, I would re I would resell these ones. Sorry, it's irresponsible, dude. Yo, you just you 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 just sent me a picture that them shits was in the fucking. Oh, I think I sent you a picture. They were in fucking round two, for like three G's. My nigga, we got bills out here. We all live in LA. It's too expensive. What the hell? Now look, I'm okay with you saying you would resell the shoe. I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah. But what I am saying is that if you want the shoe, would you resell it? Like right now, if you got, what's your grail shoe? If you got Air Mag, is that your grail? What's your grail? Mm, uh, you know, like if you got a grail um, shoe right now, it doesn't matter what the specific shoe is. Shoe, but if you got, but if you got the grail shoe and you wanted this shoe for a long time and it was worth ten grand, okay, what are you doing? I see. Yeah, my question I, is what I'm not saying that you you have to you have to uh you have to you know devalue shoes blah blah blah. But my question is. This is your goal shoe. This is the shoe that you wanted. So fragments. What, what now? Yeah. What now? Cause fours. You know the the usual. Well, exactly. Hey, guess what, man? I gift you a pair of cause fours right now. What's your next move? And actually, I don't oh. even gift them to you. Actually, I don't even gift them to you. I'm so sorry. A pair of cause fours randomly shows up at your house like it got misdirected in the mail. Now what do you do? Your exact size. Oh, oh that's priceless. That's priceless. Then I, I mean, at that point, but I'm talking about me going out actually buying this shoe. For retail, and then it skyrocketed like that. I'm, I'm selling them, bitches. Are you kidding me? Shit. So you're you're selling your Grail shoe though. So you, like I said, like if you uh, if there was one shoe that you were like, I'm only in sneakers to get this shoe. A trophy room is a Grail though. It, it is to some people. Well, it is to some people. You know, Whoa. it is to those people. Okay. Whoever's paying three grand for it, it better be a fucking Grail for them. You know. Jesus Christ. But. Um, uh, so that all I'm saying is that there's so many people that are saying, hey, I love this shoe. I can't wait to get the shoe. As soon as they get the shoe, they put the shoe in their closet and hide it. And guess yeah. what? You don't need to have a shoe that is hiding in your closet. You get what I'm saying? That there's no, no reason. You're right. But you only got two feet, bro. You can only wear one, you know, one each day. I mean, you can, I mean, you can keep switching your shoes all day, but that's corny. But, like, I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I. I believe in like buying the shoe, wearing the shoe, you know, as you can. But to go back into what you were saying, I think, yeah, if I had a pair of fragments, which is my grail, like I, I really like that shoe, I'm, I'm keeping those ones. And I don't know how much those are right now. Let me check. How much is a fragment one? I kind of want to know too. I mean, I'm excited. The fuck? <laughs> uh, so have you seen the hashtag though all over the internet where people are just doing the Michael Jackson in their shoes yeah dude. and do you realize that, that, why yeah wear your shits oh they're three G's because you're supposed oh, to, shit. yeah because they are shoes and they go onto your feet and you're they're designed nigga, to be worn nigga size 12 is four G's oh wow 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't know about that one, buddy. Like I said, if it shows up at your house today, what do you want? Do you want a shoe or do you want a couple bands? Because you can get bands, man. You can, like, I promise, there's there's a million, there's ways to get bands. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you get what I mean? There's not, yeah. there's ways to get bands. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, like, you know another shoe's up there, too, for me? But I don't know if I love it because I really love it. And this is going to sound bad, guys, but I don't know if I love it because they're really hard to get or I love it because, uh, you know, because other people, I don't know. But uh-huh. the Mars Yards, they're really expensive and I really like them. But I don't know yeah, if something I like about because... that shoe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that that nobody would like that shoe. I like the Mars Yard cover a lot. And I even like the Mars Yard. But something tells me, yeah, like you're saying, a lot of that hype is because nobody can get them. You know? Yeah. But I do like the cover idea. Like, I think I think he was the first person to do a cover, right? Like, a, a, a shoe cover. You know what I'm saying? I thought, I thought Adidas. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they were after, though. I was going to say Adidas did that. Remember that shoe, the graffiti shoe? But, yeah, that's yeah. trash. But that's not, that's not good. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. It's like they didn't do it well. <laughs> like, they did a bad, a bad job. Um, so that's what I'm saying, man. I'm, I can't, like, only reason I'm not wearing my shoes is because I'm not wearing sneakers right now. You know, but better fucking believe I'll go put, some, I'll spit on my shoe right now. You know, but like I said, I'm not, I'm not like a clout whore. Like I don't, I really don't, I'm actually like a version averted to that. Like I don't want clout any cheesy way like that. You know what I'm saying? See me in the yeah. streets and you will see me do something crazy, but I'm not going to do it online for you to, you know, to, to prove anything to anyone. <laughs> I feel that. You feel me? Hey, man. And on that note, I think this has been a really excellent episode. I really appreciate these combos, man, every time. I can't wait, man. I'm going to go buy my next shoes. I'm going to go buy all construction boots. I'm going to buy, like, ten, I'm buy like different, ty- different types of construction boots. You'll see. We, we gonna, we're gonna cha- I'm going to change the world away from – like, I'm just going to make it more hype, like, to not be hype, basically. Like, that, that's coming. Like, eventually that's coming. The idea of uh, we're hype to just to, like, the hype is not hype. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's how things work. They build up, and then they turn inside on themselves. You know what I'm saying? And then they come back in five years based on nostalgia. That's literally why there were so many Jordan 1s for sale on, on sales racks and all these pictures we see, you know what I'm saying? They're like, Oh, sale, 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 Jordan sale. We don't want them anymore. Cause they were, cause they boom. And then they slowed down. Cause everybody's like, Oh, everybody's going to get the fucking same shoe. And that's what's going on right now. Uh, so. Talk your know. shit King. I don't know, man. You got any, you got any final thoughts? I, I, I completely feel you on that. And I, I'm wondering too, what's going to be the next new thing. So I think, I think you should do the construction thing, you know, try it. See, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm still into hiking boots. I like hiking boots. Over, yeah, like, that's what sure. I was going to say. I like a hi- I'm going to get a hiking boot, too. Yeah. yeah not like just hiking. construction. Just anything that's – any. I'm literally going everything that's not that's not sneakers. Next week, I'm going to come on and show everything that is not sneakers, like that. a lot of weird shoes I have. You know, why not? What it? For the summer. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get in the vibes for the summer. Uh, but like I said, guys, thank you so much for listening, everybody who fucking tuned in. Uh, thank you, everybody who let me take a picture of them in the streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank you for everybody who, every, everything, man. We're gonna we're gonna put up this bitch on uh, iTunes on Apple Podcasts this week too. I'm a, I'm gonna get that set up. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to the New Best Shoe Podcast once again. <laughs>